Hey yeah, guys, what's up? Um, looks like I am finally finishing Lightning Returns today. I was hoping to finish yesterday, but um, again, I forgot that we can't really fast forward through time fast enough. <laughs> um, and I think though, for sure I've done everything I really wanted to do. I think anything else is just for fun. I think I said I would think about fighting Arrow Knight. Um, I'm not even sure if it's anything I can really do. Like, Arrow Knight takes a long time to beat, and I really don't want to spend brain cells <laughs> going to beat him. Um... And so yeah, I don't think there's really anything else lo anything left to do. I could go around just killing every last um, one of everything, but let's see. So we just chill here, I guess. Um, I do know that on day 9, a few uh, other quests open up that I suppose I could do. Uh, let me look at the main uh, quest line here. What's up, Jezreel? Might have gone to Sipti twice today when visiting family. <laughs> nice. That's how you do it. <laughs> Eventually, one day, you're going to actually order to... Boba Tees, <laughs> kind of like uh, what Josh did. I've done that before. Especially if you take it to go, it's like, <laughs> why not? Um, yeah, how are you doing today, Jazzro? You're doing good. You actually did not get a Boba Tea today. I went to a Brazilian steakhouse. I ate my fill and uh, took a nap. Here we are. Playing this, trying to and finish out this game. I should be done hopefully early. If I finish early, I can start 16, actually. Final Fantasy 16. Let me see. Let's see. They ordered two, but one was for my wife. Ah. Uh, what'd you get your wife? Second one time I went, I got three. Oh, <laughs> one for, oh, your wife wanted a second one too? It's so good. It's so addicting against the, so many different flavors too. Unless your oldest has got one too. That's going to be a very hot spot. I feel like I should start advertising it on Facebook. <laughs> but yeah. Um... Oh, what? Oh, interesting. It actually uh, notes that if you aren't doing anything, it actually pauses for you. That's really cool. But yeah, I wish there was a way to fast forward through time. Because I just need to wait for the final day at this point. Um, yeah, strawberry milk tea with mango popping boba. She got that twice. Nice. Yeah, that's a good combo flavor. I feel like I should start getting popping boba. Because my parents keep telling me the tapioca balls are bad for you. <laughs> I'm like, the heck? Give them that an organic material. <laughs> it's not like it's synthetic. Uh, let me research on that right now, just because. I'm like, <laughs> is boba bad for you? For your digestion? For all of you bubble tea fans, don't worry, the odds are low of developing constipation and pain from your tea drink. <laughs> However, this doctor said that an additive sometimes used in bubble tea pearls called guar gum can cause constipation. Oh, what? 
<laughs> oh no. Is boba bad for your stomach? In short, the answer is that bubble tea pearls are safe for you to consume and easily digested. However, this tapioca is a starchy food. Starchy. Where did it go? Yeah, if you don't give your body time to break down the tapioca starch, it can congeal. However, for this to happen, you would need to eat an excessive amount in a short period and have a weak digestive system. <laughs> one bubble tea a week would be the safest bet. Maybe one or two bubble teas a day is not likely to cause the pearls to build up in your stomach. Okay, so I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good. Apparently, <laughs> this one case of a girl who's... Cat scan showed a hundred tapioca balls in her stomach. You have to have only drunk one bubble tea five days before. <laughs> yeah, doctors say that she would have had to drink a lot more <laughs> for the bubbles to show up. Um, because the starch ingredients of tapioca balls are more difficult to dissolve when they are expanded, treating them is highly recommended. But yeah. <laughs> That's the fun part of bubble tea, it's chewing on them, or the tapioca pearl pearls. So yeah, apparently it's just the starch from the, or in the boba that's technically not good for you, but I feel like my digestive system is still pretty good. Um, I also have, of course, I take my daily probiotics to ensure that my digestive tract is still good. Um, so you got Thai tea with lychee. Nice. And lychee milk tea with yogurt. I didn't know, huh, I didn't know they had yogurt popping boba. I wonder what that tastes like. And she has a bad digestive system then now? Or she like, unless she asked for a cup of boba with some TS topping. <laughs> yeah. Can I just have a cup of balls? Or what? <laughs> but I, I really do like uh, boba. Like, the tapioca pearls are so good. Well, it just tastes like yogurt. They probably just have, you know, put yogurt in little balls. But yeah. Uh, you have to try to know what I mean. Gotcha, yeah. Uh, maybe next time. Maybe I'll start getting popping from here on out. Though, I just love regular <laughs> boba, though. It's so good. Especially from that place. I think if I go to other places, I'll definitely get popping. If they have popping. Because, again, not many places have good boba pearls. Unfortunately. Um, but yeah. I wasn't trying to be funny when I said that. Say what? Mm, gotta try it. Don't knock it till you try it or something. something. Mother's sister already knew about Sip Tea and she mentioned Royalty. Yes, Royalty is on 49th in Park. So it's a good 10 minutes away from Sip. I like Sip better though, again, for their uh, tapioca pearls. And was off of 49th and further from park. Okay. So yeah, definitely a good place to go. It's a lot closer, but yeah, the sip is definitely better <laughs> overall. But I think Royal does have some interesting concoctions. You wanna try different like things. Still need to try to type your boba from there. Yeah, I just don't like it. I don't know. It feels a little more mushy. Consistency isn't as good. I know a lot of people are already texture people, right? So having the texture be even worse is why <laughs> royalty isn't as good, or you know, other boba shops aren't as good. I guess I've pretty much been everywhere. 
Wait, have I gone that way? I sort of did not. Let's go there just in case. Oh yeah, lightning eye patch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure light my lightning is very strong, strong enough to finish the game out. So I just got to get there at this point. Um, there's other things later on that I could still benefit from, like getting stronger abilities. But I think even then it's not even that necessary. You think you can win? Let's see. I take it you're not down here anymore? That's right. Wow. <laughs> wow. The damage. Back home. Yeah, I could go for a bubble right now, actually. Yeah, again, I went to that Brazilian steakhouse, and I don't know if you've ever been to a Brazilian steakhouse. Not only do they just load you up on meat, <laughs> but um, it's just very salty. It's very bad for you. <laughs> so I've been drinking water as much as I can. You were there from noon to 5.30? Ah, gotcha. Oops. Mm, you have not been to a Brazilian steakhouse. Definitely try one. It's just meat. It's all you can eat. It's usually slightly pricey though. Um, yeah, I was fortunate to have a friend pay for all of us, actually. He uh, got a promotion at his military. <laughs> he didn't know that he got promoted to captain. So he was nice enough to treat all of us. Which was really nice. I actually took a look at the bill. I'm like, <laughs> the hefty bill, but. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm sure we'll pay him back at some point. Yeah, probably a good thing due to needing low sodium. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, they just supersede everything. But yeah, if you like uh, meat, <laughs> all sorts of meat, then yeah, Brazilian Steakhouse is a good place to go. But yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Something might mess with your health. What's the Earth Eater? Ugh, I really don't want to fight it, but... One of the quests is to kill like eight of these. I've killed like three so far. Uh, let, me see if, uh, let me see if I even set up to fight it. Uh, I think so. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's, he actually just moved back because he was stationed overseas. Ow. Ow. <laughs> that. Not hurting me. Dang it. <laughs> I just can't see that he's about to do that. So much damage. Dying. 
That's why I didn't want to fight this thing. Dang it. <laughs> Idea. Oh no. Finish. There we go. Well, oh. I think I'm I'm pretty good. Like I am kind of prepared for that fight, but it's not optimal still. Oops, because I didn't. I did get an arrow. I think the fight takes too long. The an arrow is not gonna be good. Should I get instead then? I'm up to and duration. I want those. Just physical. I really do need to block though. I'm gonna do that. I also don't really need that. Go beat down. I really should just wait to fight this thing till future time. I wanna have better stuff. Go to this one. I'm gonna go like top left of the map. Let's go this way. Doggers. You disgust me. Hmm, heavy slash. I'm just gonna run around this area real quick, and then once I'm done, I'm gonna escape from fights so the time can go past.
I also need 20 of these lizard tails. I don't know how many I have so far. As many as I can. What's another big boy? Really don't want to fight him. I honestly probably just need a uh call it schemata that is purely used to defend Rainbow Gem. Oh this is days. Days and confused. The lightning is just sliding around the fan here. It's not chicken. Desert chicken. Come and get it if you want to die. Where's that Athmos ball? Hmm, I guess I'll start just skipping fights so I can skip your time. That's probably the only way to fast forward through time is this. Lost me an hour. It's simple. The strongest. Be careful, Light. You were able to escape for now, but it lost you an hour of the world's time. Oh. Let's go teleport somewhere else. I'm just starting to keep skipping through fights like this. Actually, before I do that. Can it be that there's more to the custom legends? Want me to do a prey? Wow, you did. What? Come back. Whenever. When? Hi. Yeah, these two are the ones I don't really want to do. I'm going to go into the... Oh, there's six more big boys and... I need two more of those tails. Right. So I could technically you know, just kill these, but... I might look up if there's a faster way to get the time rather than skip the fights. The we should be seeing the cats in here. Unless the time won't let us in here. I guess the cats won't appear. We actually killed all the uh, skeletons. Hey, Amanda! What's up? How are you? I take it you played more Final Fantasy today?
Hey, anybody, how are you? And yes, I did. I'm about to play more off stream. <laughs> it never ends. That's good to hear. I hope I can uh, join in the 16 pretty soon. I just gotta finish this, and there's pretty much nothing left to do that I really want to do. Except for. Um, get to the end of the game. <laughs> And the only bad thing about this game is that it is time ba uh, based. So uh, we just gotta wait till time runs out. So happens when like you're too efficient. <laughs> um, okay, hopefully I can beat this in the next hour or two. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna be doing anything else in the game. I know certain things open up later. Uh. In the next couple days, but yeah, I don't know if I'll partake in doing it. I feel like my uh, level and damage and stuff is good enough to beat the game. But again, I just gotta get to the end. And yeah, the day seven's over. There's five more days. <laughs> and I think we're gonna unlock a. 14th of day as well, because we've done so many of the side quests. So we get a bonus day for no reason. But other than that, what else did you do today? You that rules over all life. Hey. Mm, just went to breakfast and dinner with TJ and played video games. Nice, very chill day. We're on our wedding website now. Ooh, wedding website. We're starting another gaming session. Are you doing okay, like gaming sessions? That sounds very productive. Army of One has been unlocked. I forget that's an EP move. So Vanille seems well. I'm glad. I remember her, you know. From way back when. Apparently, Hope has a crush on her. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I'll probably just do the same thing. The party really wants to kill things. I don't know. Murderous intent. <laughs> just. There's really nothing to do. Except for kill things. Since I've done all the side quests I want to do. Oh, we're here again. What do you want now, <laughs> girl? I've come to help you remember what you've lost. I wonder if we find out who she is don't right now. Don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Meaning, I know who she is, but you woke up from those who haven't played don't know who uh, Lumina is. It looks. She looks a lot like Sarah, actually, missing. Lightning Sister. A big but empty hole in your she heart. actually isn't. We'll find out who she really is once they yeah, want to tell us. That's how it feels. It's like I've forgotten something important, something that I need. I need. Huh? Really? I thought you'd deny it. But it's okay. I'll help you remember. Indestructible crystal. Even in the sea of chaos, it never loses its shine. I will become an eternal epitaph. Your memory will survive for eternity within a crystal tomb. Yeah, we have to find out why we, uh... This shall be my legacy. Oh, why lightning? My atonement. Into crystal. But most of all, my final hope. You wanted to protect her, so you fell into that crystal sleep. You became a tomb for a memory, a moment frozen in time, with Sarah's soul cocooned inside. A what? So tell me, Lightning, where do you think Sarah is now? 
in my yes. heart. I remember now. She was there, in my heart. I had her memories. They were inside me. I took them into the crystal. She was with me then. We should have been together the whole time. Right. Now you're catching on. So, the hole in your heart? Sarah's soul. That's what I'm missing. And you know who took it out, don't you? Benavelza did when he woke you up to do his God bid. took it out. He must have messed with your memories, too, and tried to make you forget about it. And so he had the perfect motivation. Or should I say, hostage. He's gonna hold on to her until I've done what he wants. Oh, I don't know if he thought it out that far. <laughs> He's not very good with human emotions, that god of yours. Maybe he just threw her soul away and let it be swallowed up by the chaos. But he promised me. Oh. He said as long as I did what I was told, he'd bring Sarah back to me. If he lied, then I don't care if he is a god. I'll destroy oh, him. him. Oh. <laughs> now that's more like the old lightning. But do you really think you can take on a god? Well, I wouldn't bet against me. I might have found a way to shut him down. A last resort if all else fails. <laughs> You've been brewing up contingency plans. Sneaky lightning. Sneaky. Very sneaky. I haven't made up my mind yet. Sneaky. This world is finished. Soon it'll be gone forever. And Benavelza is the only one who can build us a new one. When he's done, then I'll decide. So you'll play his game for as long as it takes to build the new world. Then you'll sit in judgment on him, you'll betray him and destroy him and steal the new world he labored to build. Is that your plan? I love it. Turning on God and making him a pawn in your own game. It's audacious. Oh, but little Hope is going to be so disappointed. He really does trust you, you know. And you're going to betray him. Oh, you did think about that, didn't you? You turn on God, you turn on Hope. Are you ready for that? Do you have it in you to fight him? Fight Hope? Are My you God. Really prepared to kill Hope? <laughs> you think I'm not? <laughs> you answered a question with a question. So Hope's a little bitch. That's an evasion. Oh. <laughs> Got ya. <laughs> gotcha. This girl. <laughs> she was ready in the first game as we all were. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this kid. <laughs> If you're gonna talk nonsense, this <laughs> conversation is over. I've got better things to do. Fine, Lightning. Let me make it all clear. Look around you and see the lies. The Sarah you talked to was a lie. Hope in his art oh. is a lie. How long is it going to take before you... <laughs> you went to breakfast and dinner at the same time? <laughs> maybe, just maybe... Had a big meal. I technically kind of did that when I went to the Brazilian steakhouse. <laughs> That was my first meal of the day, and that's my last meal of the day. <laughs> Had so much meat. Meat. Yeah, like, normally I would be able to eat a lot, but I don't know. I feel like my appetite isn't as big and or my capacity isn't as big, so I don't eat as much as I used to. <laughs> Jazzer. Mr. Troll Man. Uh, so apparently I can actually go to the inn, sleep the day away, so I'm going to do that. Let's see if the internet's uh, right. I don't see the, no the internet's normally right. At least about games. It's funny because it was in the FAQ or whatever. Or not FAQ, it's like it's story. Uh, recovering HP in exchange for time. Rest your tired bones at an inn until the hour of your choosing and restore all your HP. The latest that you can stay is until 6 a.m. when you must return to the Ark. Time will continue at its onward march while you rest, so try not to sleep through the world. <laughs> the end of the world. 
That's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> it's like we worked very hard for the first six days. Mm, so we can sleep for the next three days or so. I think if I knew this, I would have done this last time. I did not know. Okay, we're out of here. Yeah, I love how everyone has like adornments. Everyone's just like a creative character. What move are we going to get this time? It is pretty cool that we do get stuff after every uh, day, more or less. Lightning's like, I'm going to fake give you stuff. I didn't do shit today. <laughs> Grant the forsaken world more time. Oh, she didn't give me anything good. <laughs> As I say, like we didn't do shit today, so we shouldn't be able to give it anything. All right. Well, it's that time again. It's that time again. Oh shit! Here we go again. Heart stealer. So. Let me just switch costumes. See if it's like that. Soul of the Thief increases ATV speed by 35 and stagger capability by 5. I mean, some of these are good. It's just these. So some of these garbs force us to take moves that I don't care for. That's why I don't want to use them. It's all good though. Peace out, Hope. I'm gonna go back <laughs> just to sleep some more. <laughs> Actually, this is the better one to go to. Any uh, secret meeting with Lumina again? Yeah, just to catalog things that I have left. There's probably like between five to ten more uh, these side quests. Maybe I'll just do this. This so there's three of them that I can probably do right now, actually. Well, it should be pretty straightforward and easy. So let me... Go and take a peek at it. Yeah, it's pretty much opening up um, gates to travel uh, around the world, really. <laughs> on foot, instead of taking the train. Oh, uh, not that sense. Right, for those who didn't, or who weren't here for it, um, Choco Bocalina, this Choco girl, <laughs> uh, she's actually the small Choco chick that's usually inside of um, Plaza's hair. We got a sword. Oh, this one's done too. Wait, why am I missing the things for the first one? Proof of unlocking the light gates. Uh, the main road connecting Luxurian and the Wildlands has been long closed, but we just got permission to open it again. If you're so anxious to travel it, you can do the honors if you want. I'll give you the key for the gates on either end, the Luxurian and the Wildlands. All you need to do is unlock them and bring back the proofs of unlocking so I can raise the shutters. Okay, so I can do that now. Uh, so Luxurian and the Wildlands. I'm not sure where that is. Oh nice, we got the key for the gates. Uh, the road from the Wildlands to the Dead Dunes is now open. New goods can be found in the Wildlands Outfitter Shops. Same with Yusnan's Outfitter Shops. You did a job, like uh, let me see. Oh, it's right there. So there's a path right there. That I can take. And that's where we're going. Oh, wait. It doesn't open until... No, it's open right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and go. I don't know why, but this thing caught my eye. It's a rusty luggage out of nowhere. Rusty, crusty. Oh yeah, I always thought that this lady had a uh, side quest, but maybe it's at a certain time that it unlocks. 
But I don't really care, so we can just skip her. You are your old lady. Oh, cat's in the way. I'm gonna try not to fight anything, so if something shows up, I am dodging. But I think at this point we are starting to see like multiple enemies, at least of the smaller types. Because they assume that by now you are strong enough to take on multiple. Oh, it's a doggo. Oh, it's a big dragon. Uh, it's gonna run by. <laughs> run by. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting. Open, says me. Proof of unlocking the light gates. I'm gonna go ahead and run through. Oh, what? You're gonna make me run around to the other side? Uh, Wildlands, right? Just the wildlands I have to go to. Uh, yeah, wildlands. Okay. Let me teleport. Make me teleport. Yeah, random good news. Uh, my knee's feeling a lot better. Yeah, oh, my chocobo disappeared. I was about to go jump on. And yeah, I've been nursing my knee back to health. Just for some reason, when I try to squat down, I just can't bear the load <laughs> of the squat. And so it just hurts. But, I mean, I ordered a heating pad and I've been using it on my downtimes. Seems to help. Um, I used it this morning before I went to play, actually. I just sat here for like 15 20 minutes. <laughs> hanging out. Um, oh, I don't want to fight you guys. <laughs> this guy doesn't want to fight nobody either. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Oh, this thing on the ground. Maybe I should just fight stuff, I don't know. Oh yeah, I got two uh, new weapons. Let me take a peek. What they are. Can't be that good. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> they look cool, but... Fuck. Compared to the stuff I already have, actually. They're not as easy to squat here either. Wow. Oh, you having knee issues? Casper? Yes, what? Well, uh, actually. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. I don't have thunder though. Or not thunder, ice. And hip. Oh no. People are suggesting I see a chiropractor. Mm. I guess it depends. I know sometimes you just gotta get your things realigned. But I don't plan on losing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a lot a lot of a lot of them do do good stuff, so. Maybe it might be beneficial. Hmm, yeah, otherwise, I feel like it's just um, this muscle, something, something, something. Uh, I don't want to fight you. You think that they're making us fight all these big boys? Oh, 
All these big boys. Oh, chaos. Chaos. I don't really care for the chaos either. Uh, I'm actually going the wrong way. Let's really turn around. So I wanted to open up the other gate. I really don't want to fight that thing. Yeah, let me turn around actually. So I was supposed to open up the other gate. And this is not the way. What? What? I just want this soul seed. My help, I don't know either. I think I may have exerted. Or was there at one point for me? Mm -hmm. Like, do you know where in your knee it hurts? Because for me, it's the tendon that goes through the back side of your whole leg, like down from your hamstrings all the way down through the knee and beyond. Mm, hip felt like an impingement, but it's not as bad as it was, but just doesn't feel right. Mm. The only thing I think of is like a muscle imbalance. One's compensating for the other side. Um, yeah, over prolonged use in that manner, it's caused a. I don't know how you will call it. Disalignment. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that is for my case, at least. I do have the. It's like this bone on the top of your shin, where it kind of meets the knee. And over time, it slowly has been protruding, which kind of sounds scary, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much what I'm dealing with right now. Teleport back to the station. This... It doesn't matter which station, which is the station. So the top inner side of me is where it feels weak or something. Would you know what I mean by the tear drop muscle above the knee? Mm, maybe. <laughs> Stick my knee. Um, I could spot universe and YouTube sounds like patella tendon for me. Yeah, for sure. I think that's what it is. So I've been doing wall sits, I think it helps. Um, hey, let me finish this other side quest. Uh, Forbidden Tome. I don't know where to find that. Let me look that up. Forbidden Tome. Group of building strong bridges to span the depth between something and something. Yeah. Apparently, uh, wall sits is what I need to do. But even then, wall sits, I, it's like it's a little painful to do as well. Uh, so yeah, good tone. Polte. Apparently, it is north of the Polte village in the wildlands. Do I don't know where that is? Is the question. Who says the teardrop muscle is the vastus med medialis? I feel like I've seen that name before. Let's go here. Find this thing. Where's the focus? Oh, it's in there actually. Uh, I can still get there, I think. My chocobo. One second.
Oh yeah, I didn't want to kill all the Earth Eaters, or the Pebble Eaters. We need that. A lot of vegetable seeds. Am I selling vegetable seeds? Am I selling vegetable seeds? Was there any weapons yet? There's not quite any the weapons. These weapons suck. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what it sounds like you were talking about. It comes from jumping, I think. Watch it on your own time, but yeah. Yeah, it's probably Jumper's knee. I think uh, Andrew had that before, actually. But yeah, I appreciate it. I'll take a peek. But yeah, it's just like I'm not stretching. <laughs> stretching and cooling down properly. So it turns into a bad day for me. Uh, can I, yeah, I can get up there. I just gotta fly. Fly my chocobo. Another name is Pat uh, Pateller Ten Nights. Yes, I've heard of that as well. I, if anything, I think that's what I, I heard it was at first. I also have uh, plantar fasciitis in my foot, which has been annoying. In my left foot. Yes, again, this tight muscle or tendon on the underside of my foot. It's not like super painful, but yeah, it's definitely there. It just might be because my feet, my foot's tight, or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so I do use my massage gun on my foot, and it helps relieve it. So, yeah, you know, I'm assuming it's just tight muscles. Do you roll your foot on the ball for that? Uh, I tried rolling it on the foam roller, like just stepping on it and just like rolling, but it's not quite enough and I'm pretty sure the ball is probably better because it's smaller and you know kind of easier to maneuver with less force. But yeah, I just use my massage gun. It works pretty good. But maybe I should just ice my feet. Just put my feet in the ice bath. You know what the massage gun sounds like? Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah, massage gun is definitely perfect, like for all your aches and pains. Definitely a great investment. And it's also good if you get one with a long handle, because yeah, it is definitely hard to reach your back. <laughs> oh, you're in the way, bro. Bro. Body's too big. Right. <laughs> These spot I'm saying squeeze through there. Are you gonna respawn in there? Alright. Uh, I guess we gotta fight it. Since it wants to be lame. Lame, I tell you, lame. Alright, let me see. Just uh, ice, or I'm just do pure magic. That yeah, works. Uh, the person who said to use the rice method came out to say it was wrong about icing injuries. I feel like maybe sometimes. Maybe not the, the whole thing only. I think you have to do like a combination of different things. Ooh, 
Take a damage, baby. I guess icing injury slows the healing process, but yeah, I'm sure it's for certain occasions. I think it's to reduce inflammation. So like, it's good for like right after fighting or not fighting. <laughs> Talk about or <laughs> to engage in this game, but like when you just finished exercising or something, maybe it's good to go to cool down. Um, or if of course you're inflamed. But yeah. Um, Putting heat on is also good too. So maybe both. Maybe just alternating. I don't know. It just depends on your body, I suppose. But yeah, the heating pad definitely helps. Icing also helps. I don't know. It's like both. I guess it's like a specific combination. Oh, what? What's wrong with you? I need Cardesia's elixir. He said something about Cardesia. That sounds like a woman's name. Cardesia. Cardesia. I know her. That's the apothecary in Yogged Village. Yeah. So you gotta make me run back and forth to get that. What? The winds that howl around Pole to wear down every these patterns on the rock. To me, they inside that temple there should be other writing or so. But none of us can enter the temple, so I stand here instead to watch over the dying world. And what? I'm not sure what that girl was talking about. Let me reread what to do here. Um, required book is found in the north of the Volte village in the wildland. On the step in front of the doorway, look for the Volte headsman and watching ghost NPCs. Then turn to the northeast to find it. You can collect Etro's Forbidden Tome at any point. Okay, so. Should be northeast. Wow. That's fun. Hello. Yeah, I just sent you the YouTube shorts about I think nice sounds. Northeast. 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 If I have time, I'll definitely do some of that tonight. I started taking somewhat cold bath slash hours. If that's similar slash a good thing to do. So I mentioned that slow movements can help remove inflammation and help in the healing process. Oh. If you have Pantry 2, I do. Try to still be a little active, and I think I think that's why I still go play, even though I'm like half injured. I just take it a little easier and try not to, to hurt myself. 
fuck is no don't see it See this tone you're talking about. I know I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they always say, your body will let you know your limits and what you what to do and not do, yeah. I wonder what was written if the writing had not been worn with the scriptures of the goddess. Something. So I read it. Don't know what it's said. There's no beast up floating. Are they like in here? I guess. Probably can think of. Yeah. Um, I go up here one more time before I go take my way. There's nothing over here. I need to go through that the fast I go. Hmm, I hate that it's in the way. Together we can prevail. Oh, it fell down. Dang it. That was very annoying.
bitch, I pay attention to what they were telling me. <laughs> the thing was. Maybe it's right over here. Like I was talking about. Welcome. Do you need a cure? I need a cure. I ran across a man in Polta who was calling out your name. He seemed ill. I don't suppose you know him. What? You... you ran into Taylor? He was in a bad state, wasn't he? Remember the medicine I had you gather ingredients for? I didn't tell you, but it's for oh. him. You haven't given it to him? Not yet, but I have a reason. <laughs> you I have a reason. The problem with this medicine is that it only works immediately after it's been concocted. I thought of heading to Polta with the ingredients and brewing it there, but unfortunately the village doesn't have the facilities or equipment I need. So you're saying that you can only make it here, but at the same time he needs to take it soon after it's made. If you want, it's definitely worth giving it a shot. I might make it in time on my chocobo. What? You would do that for me? I would do that for me? I there fast enough, but <laughs> if you're willing to try, so am I. Can you mix up a batch now? Of course I can. If you'll just give me a minute, I'll prepare some right away. Look at this map. <laughs> that I can fix that curse. Yeah. Curse? I thought he had some kind of illness. It's a curse. Curse. All right. Uh, forty-five minutes. Where my chocobo at? Where my chocobo? Uh, that was a fast way to go. I think that way. Wait, wait, wait. This way. So I jump across. Yeah, do a loopy loop. That's a new weapon. New weapon. Oh, this. It's a lot of magic. Stagger power, strong finale. This might be good. I think 800 magic is more than what we got. With our current item, or not item, but weapon. Yeah, because our current weapon is this one. 650. 800. I don't really need stagger power. For magic, I think. I think the middle, um... Schemata. Is, um... What I'm doing. Or like, what I need to... Or what I use to stagger... Things. Yeah. Come back soon. Uh, there might have been new outfits, but fine. There's new outfits. Uh, let me stop time. So much magic, you start becoming the father of magic tricks. <laughs> oh, wait, that's you. <laughs> you can be the father of magic tricks. Hi there. Oh, there's no new, no new thingies. Okay. Let's see. Kind of fits this outfit. Let's probably change their dress color now, though. White. White works. Let me change the mask. I don't need the mask anymore. Cat ears. <laughs> Devil ears. Uh. 
Chef hat. <laughs> yeah, these adornments are great. Oh, cute heart. Let's do the cute heart. <clears throat> Try to make food disappear. <laughs> and boba teas. Yeah. You know it. It's like, I have the same superpower. Uh... Wanna grow stronger? Let's see here. It's a great superpower, yep. It's like all that meat I had today. So much meat. A lot of heavy flashes. Mm, should say I can make good food disappear. All true. Yeah, some bad foods are definitely bad. <laughs> I would not eat <laughs> bad foods if I didn't have to. Oops, strength 110 plus. Same thing. Spark strikes. Oh, plus eighty. Oops. It's a waste trying to level these up. Definitely is. I shouldn't. I should sell them actually. It's all these magics. I'm just so lazy to do it. Yeah, it's not worry about it. What'd you say that ramen milk tea was again? I was tempted, but it didn't just didn't pull the trigger on it. Um it's egg pudding. That's what they used to simulate <laughs> the uh noodles. Yeah, it doesn't taste like noodle at all, it's just egg pudding. Um, I think. Uh, I forget what the actual drink is. I think it's just milk tea. It's milk tea, and they use the ramen, or you know, the egg pudding to make it look like ramen noodles. And then they put like this thing on top of it. It's like a piece of chewy candy or something. I don't know. It wasn't the best. I wouldn't get it again, but it's definitely worth a try, maybe. See what it's like. Yeah, I think it's milk tea, though, so it's nothing that fancy. But, of course, the toppings really change the taste. So, just getting, like... I'm pretty sure you haven't even tried the grass jelly, have you? That's a different flavor profile. It's not, like, super sweet, but it's, like... I don't know. It's a specific taste, and... You only know what it is when you try it. <laughs> it's kind of like the lychee. Like, lychee is a specific flavor. What jelly? It's grass. Grass jelly. Who are you? I don't know if it's made from actual grass, but <laughs> they call it grass jelly. Did you say Cardesia? Oh, finally. I can say goodbye to this cursed life. You don't know how relieved I am. Just hush and drink it down. 
Please, can you tip it toward my mouth so I might have a sip? The goddess is waiting for me. Yeah, this guy's trying to die. Never mind that. This potion's supposed to kill him. Probably. Waiting so long for this. Tastes like garbage. Bleh. Why am I still alive? Oh, that's actually good for him. Grass Shelly's house is not very good. It's it's very good. It's not bad. I actually have it when I get um yeah, if I get their coffees, I put grass jelly, or if I if I get a uh, taro milk tea, I get grass jelly. So I told her, if she ever wanted to have her revenge, all she would need. Yeah, wheat grass juice. You want to do that again? Conjure up some poisonous brew and hand it to me. When you approached me with the concoction, I thought it was finally my time to die. Yeah, that's sweet. Grass jelly. I'd be dead in a second. But this poison has no effect on me. She must be losing her touch. Why are you so convinced that she was trying to poison you? Maybe the medicine is what she said it was. Something to lift the curse from you. Nope. No way. <laughs> nope. I've lived a long, long life. There's no way Cartesia would help me see more days. Not after what I did to her. Well, what do you do to her? Her plan isn't to kill me, but to keep me alive so I can live with the guilt of my deeds. What do you think? I'm gonna tempt her with this star strawberry jelly, but I didn't do that yet. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that is either. Maybe it's just strawberry, like, fruit, but they cut into, like, star-esque shapes. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should also be more adventurous. But it's the boba, man. <laughs> it's not the boba. That's what you were assuming? Yeah. Kill me. Knowing she had avenged his death. If you really want to die, kill me. But you're still here, which would suggest to me there must have been a reason for you to keep going. You've spent years with this burden of a curse. It must have been harder to live than die, but you did choose life. Maybe you were hoping Cardesia would try to kill you. That way you'd escape. Mm, you always went for the strawberry tornado. That, you'd be free of your yeah, both of those are good, man. <laughs> you gotta try it. Forgive you. They're both sweet. Things have changed. She let you live with the pain, but now she saved you. Uh, for the strawberry matcha latte, I actually add lychee jelly, like straight lychee jelly, not the popping, but the actual lychee fruit. It's pretty good. What have I done? Yeah, then uh, of course boba. Now, one of these days, I'm gonna do three toppings. <laughs> Cause, ooh, that's a lot of strength. Cause toppings are life. Hmm. So apparently, there's a thing in here. Oh, there's right there. Right there. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. Signals in. I'm done. I mean, I'm just like dragging this out. <laughs> I can easily just finish this game out. If I just keep wanting to do more side quests. Yeah, cause yeah, I think there's only like four or five side quests left in the game. And of course, killing all the last ones. But mm, I don't think I'm gonna do that either. Or would I? Will I? We'll see. Well, one day the fresh sip wine sunset and dirty brown sugar sound good too. I haven't had the fresh sip. Is that like number the last number, like number eight or something, on the thing? Wine sunset. I think it's just like fruity, it's like orangey and stuff. Got the reward card from CPT though. True, true. Yep. You gotta get all your stamps. That's how many stamps do I have right now? I have a five stamps. You are. <laughs> five stamps on my card. What's wrong? It's Sarah. Nothing. See, doesn't she look like Lumina? Don't worry about it. I can't help but worry. We're finally getting the Yeah, five from today. Josh has five stamps too. Nice. It's like you don't even know how to it, smile anymore. It's like if you combine your stamps together, <laughs> you get a free one. But no. Right now, this is the best I can do. Not that I was ever good at it. It's okay. I can make you smile again. A what? You just have to go back to the days when the future still looked bright. 
When was that? Yeah, maybe I'll get one tomorrow. Back before we made all those mistakes. Before we started messing around with gods and Sassi. We thought it was our destiny to fight for the world and the future. But all those battles, all those struggles, they didn't mean anything in the end. Was it all a mistake? Even the journey you went on with me? Well, what else would you call it? We risked everything, but in the end, we couldn't save the future, and I died. And I died. <laughs> That's crazy. Imagine being like what? Self-aware after you died. <laughs> kind of scary. Hey, that was this joke about. Uh, like, if somebody, like, one of your friends passed away, <laughs> you would, like, log into their Facebook and say, Not me dying. That seems to be, like, the thing that the internet does nowadays. It's just, like, not me. <laughs> Fill in the blank. Like, you, not you having five bovas. <laughs> I guess trying to, like, make it sound bad that something happened, but... I guess it is really bad, of course, if someone it dies, but, you know, like hoped, but it emphasizing how bad it is for no reason. To do that was I feel like a lot of people do do that, like, they that away. hunt for pity, I guess, sympathy. I, I don't want to Which is kind of whatever, you know, everyone needs things, attention, I suppose, especially when they're hurting. Right. But, you know, everyone's different. But, yeah, it seems like that's the thing nowadays, people want attention, so they're like, not me. Whatever bad thing happened. Said that, Sometimes I, I can bring attention to something that you don't really need attention to be brought to. to but hardship, I don't know, some people it just for it. try to be funny about it. I don't know. Luminous words came back to me. Uh, I did joke about uh, tasting everyone stuff. A what? Would never do it, but boba tea is tasty. No. Tasty. That couldn't be right. The problem was in me, making me doubt her. Me. But. <laughs> this sword is so long. It's like <laughs> almost touching the floor. The terrible thought had formed in my mind. The seed was planted. Mm. What if this Sarah was fake? And my memories of her too. That is definitely scary. Give us a reprieve so that I can save more souls. Oh yeah, I did uh complete some tasks. Josh said I am as addicted to Boba as he is to Obami. <laughs> Does he still go on his own? And you guys need uh, still need to go to Hot Pot. Same with Manda. Mandith. Are you doing okay, Light? Are you doing okay? Decoy? Where was decoy? Do you want to go for sure? Let us know when you're in the area. We'll definitely go. Press LT while overclock is active to unleash a devastating flurry of blows. Decoy summons a Moogle doll that draws enemies' attention for a time. That's such a waste. <laughs> I mean, just like run around the enemy. Definitely want to go as well? I just gotta go. I'm pretty much always down. For the most part. As long as I've not eaten. That's one of those places you can't eat at all. Like, <laughs> throughout the day, just that is the day <laughs> or the meal for the day. I don't know if he goes by himself anymore. He has taken his mom though. Nice, yeah. Yeah, I don't frequent that place as much. Because again, I think I mentioned before, but my. Capacity for food isn't as much as it used to be. So yeah, I was kind of sad I didn't like go multiple rounds from or at that Brazilian steakhouse because they had some like so all Brazilian steakhouse has like crazy side dishes and it's like buffet style so you had to like go over to the little bar that they got for all the side dishes. It was hella fancy. It's like I was too full from all the meat though, so it's like why? <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. Oh, I forgot about this again. 
Oh, it's okay, I'll do it right now. Now that I've just remembered. So much up with you. So I wanted... Uh, let me see something. Do I have enough of the other ones? Yeah, so I just need one of these silky screens that can only be uh, farmed in the, um, what's it called? In the Moogle Forest. And that's where I'm going to go now-ish. I hope there's an inn here. I feel like there should be. There better be. There isn't! Damn it. <laughs> Damn. Uh, that's fine. I'll just teleport to where there is an inn. I better find out where it is before I go and there isn't one. That is so salty. Alright, so Cannabis Farms is where we're going. I don't want to waste, but it's just so far. <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna skip it. We can do it the next day. <laughs> uh, he was really reluctant on not wanting to go since he loves you, Mom. Oh, to the hot pot. I get on sound here. You're gonna love hot pot, especially if you like meat, like grilled meats, <laughs> because most hot pots have Korean barbecue attached with it. But I have yet to see a. Hot pot that only sells um, innocence. Transform protect. Cast protect if you change the Kamata uh, when your remain ATV is 10 or less. Oh, that's really good, actually. Fortunately, like, doesn't have any other mm, boons or anything. Does have attack level 3, which is nice, but everything else is kind of me. Mm, yeah, Japanese barbecue and Korean barbecue are amazing, so I think I like it, yeah. And of course, you don't even have to do the hot pot portion. You can just go there for the Korean barbecue. <laughs> but you know, might as well do both because it's like 27-ish for one or the other. Or it is, um, what, 30 or so for both? So I might as well do both. Yeah, you want to do both? Because that's how much the buffet is at Umami, I think. It's like 28. So... <laughs> then we can get drunk off of soju. Have you had soju? Or are you not really an alcoholic? <laughs> Jazzer. Soju is just like flavored seltzer water alcohol. <laughs> or maybe not so much seltzer water, but yeah, it's just uh, fruit flavored alcohol from Korea. Yeah, no alcohol there. Maybe you take a shot. <laughs> but no, I'm not gonna force you into picking up bad habits. I only socially drink anyways, so... Uh. Let life still linger if only for one more day. One more day. Day 11. Two days remaining. I don't drink, but I was told not to drink when I heard that I needed no caffeine and low soda. Ah, gotcha. So even more reason you can't. And man, it's kind of on the same boat. Or in the same boat. Same boat, different reasons for being on the same boat. Marshall Monk. Curious what that is. Soul of the Fighter. Whirlwind Kick. Transform Punt into powerful ability. Whirlwind Kick. Not good enough though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the um, schematas I have now are gonna be it for the rest of the game. I'm just trying to be damn before. Yeah, I didn't used to drink either until like, why did I start drinking? <laughs> I mean, I get mainly for social purposes, but I never drink too much. I've yet to get. Shit based, <laughs> as they call it. 
Mm, even like at the there was one time where I did consume a lot and I was like super loopy and tipsy but I wasn't like unresponsive you know <laughs> I still had control over my faculties despite the loopiness finally it's rude to keep people waiting this girl she's got something she wants to ask you it's you will what girl what girl are you talking about that shadow what girl yep and guess what, what? little girl it's someone you know Okay, you can come out. Huh? It's definitely Yule. You? Yule. There are people here. They want to see you. All your friends. All our friends. Huh? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I've only what heard people talk about that, but I feel most people try not to get to that point if possible, yeah. Especially, you know, when they're older. I'm too old to get shit faced. <laughs> DBH. Yeah, it's one of those things, like, it's not really necessary to do so, so. It doesn't increase the quality of my life if I do. to you and if you cannot see her you cannot save her you must ask yourself if it means saving Sarah will you fight God you fight God one human You're being able to fix a lot yeah to defeat Benevelza. just being tired all, all the time powerful <laughs> but then I'll find another power something beyond me whatever it takes even if it kills me as well you cannot save anyone. Not even Sarah. What? Not as you are. Oh, what? Because first, you have to save yourself. Oh, true that. Very true. Save yourself first for you. You should listen to her. <laughs> she always tells the truth. Max, yep. Amanda knows. Right. Not like you. Not like you. <laughs> but, <laughs> bitch. She's telling me that I'm missing something. And we find out who Lumina is well, in the next day or two, I think. You figured it out? <laughs> so we're gonna fast forward to finding out, and it's gonna be like swear, a twist, a twist, but not a twist, because I kind of had a feeling. So dense. So dense. These not okay. <laughs> It Not doesn't these notes. Like it doesn't mean a thing <laughs> if you can't figure it out on your own. So, <laughs> yeah, these nuts. <laughs> uh, I have to save myself. <laughs> but how? Yeah, stayed up too late for two nights in a row with low sleep. Not the same anymore. Yep, I did the exact same thing for the past three days, actually. On day one, I think it was... I was playing this, because again, I was trying to push through to the end. So I didn't really go to bed till like, almost 5 a.m. Yeah, luckily I don't have to actually be anywhere in the morning or daytime. I can sleep in until like noon. But, can you hear me? so I did that the first day. Hurt? Second day, I right. went to sleep around 4 a.m. <laughs> Same thing. And then last Look, night, I, fine. I went to bed around 3 a.m. Right? And then I woke up to play volleyball at 8.30ish. So, but, you will tell me if something is wrong. Uh, but that's, like? that's why we take naps. Power naps. If, 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 if possible. But sometimes, like, just taking, yeah, like, half an hour, good enough. It's kind of like resetting your PC. <laughs> just do it. But, yeah. So, yeah, hopefully I can beat this in the next hour. And then we can, uh, yeah, move on to 16. I haven't booted up 16, so I don't know if there's, like, any day one patches or anything. I guess we'll find out. But no patches? Yeah. Perfect. Hella smooth. Hella smooth. Sweet. Uh, I need to. Uh, they make it 7 p.m. So is that? 
Where's my chocobo at? Oh, that's my chocobo. <laughs> Where's my chocobo? Uh, let's see, Thursday night I was up till 2-ish. Woke up at 6.30. Yeah. That's a couple times during the night because of the baby. Whatever. Friday night about 3 a.m. Woke up at 8 a.m. Oh, so that's about the same thing I did. Yeah. Um, but I feel like you have reasons why you don't or can't sleep. I have no reason. <laughs> I should be staying up late, just being irresponsible. I want to play more Valorant tonight, but need to get some sleep. Yep, it's not Monday tomorrow, but it's Sunday. Yeah, I need to. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be playing volleyball tomorrow, so I guess it doesn't matter when I go to bed. My day's already set. Uh oh yeah. So what am I here for? I'm here to sleep, bitch. <laughs> I feel like I'm being extra feisty right now. Uh, 7 p.m. is 1900 hours. Let's rest till 1900. Yeah, my reasons are either baby needing something or my internal alarm clock waking me up. Yeah. Yeah, I think I normally get up around 9 or 10, normally. Or if I'm just like hot. Because. I don't know about you guys, but my. I'm sure my room, or not my room, but my house, our AC, it is set at 79 degrees all day, every day. And if I'm feeling extra hot, I'll drop it down to 78, <laughs> just so the AC runs. Uh, I do have a fan in my room, but you know, a lot of times it's not enough. This is what it is. But yeah, time to go to the Moogle Village. So far away. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to teleport, that's why. <laughs> Teleportation. I'm gonna go to the yacht village. Uh, even when I am tired, I still can't sleep past 8 a.m. Only if, only if you're sick, you can. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I never committed to become an educator. I wanted to be a math teacher at some point. We did some subbing for a couple years. Not a couple years, just one semester actually. <laughs> or maybe two semesters. Maybe it was just one full school year-ish. I'm like, ah, I don't like waking up early, so I gave up on that. So now I get up the rifle time of 10 a.m. or so. Huh. So yeah, I'll probably do the same tomorrow. So regardless, I want to go to sleep. I'll probably get up around 10.30, maybe even 11. Get to volleyball around noon. And play for like three hours. And then, yeah, we'll see what I do afterwards. I might just... Uh, do my, get my volleyball videos situated. Because I do have... I'm trying to get a backlog. Yeah, upload a bunch. Um, goodbye, Koopa. <laughs> what kind of greeting is that? Our house used to be at 80 during the day. Once a day, it went down to 76 at night, which isn't bad. Up to 79 or 78 for the day, and 76 or 75 at night. Yeah, it's funny enough. When I got home today, I was put up to like 82. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> you know how hot it is outside? But I just came up with volleyball, so it didn't really matter. I was already like sweaty and stuff, so I was like, let me just put it back to the normal 79. Uh, but yeah. Again, if anything, it's just to conserve electricity because, you know, it costs a lot to keep the AC running all day, or keep the temperature like that all day. Yeah. I'm not a vegetable seed. Alright, let's teleport back. To the station. A2 is pretty hot, but if you have been outside already, then it's not that bad, yeah. Yeah, I was driving from Tampa. And I didn't even 
put, put my AC in the car that high either. So yeah. I was already like sweating walking in. So it was still like, you know, warmer in or yeah, warmer outside than it was inside. But But yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna definitely need to go back to normal, please. Thank you. It does add up, but I can't keep it too hot because the wife needs to be comfortable. Yep, that is very true. Wife get what she wants. I've no see so I drive in the sauna with the windows down. Yeah, my dad actually did that for... I think he told me 20 years. 20 years he did that. I'm like, Jesus. I couldn't do that. <laughs> of course, he actually worked a um, welding job, so I guess he's just used to being hot. And you know, he's actually outdoors like 80% of the day, because he tends to the garden and whatnot all day, every day. Uh, he's also retired right now, so that's also all he does. Just take care of that and maybe tinker with his... Uh, Actually, he's been investing in a lot of old-fashioned, like, technology, I guess. <laughs> like, he's, um, bought, like, these mini displayers and, like, I don't know, just all this retro stuff. Because he's, like, growing up, he always wanted these things, but, of course, being poor, uh, he never was able to. And even when he was back in the old country... Uh, the Vietnamese people didn't let him <laughs> because, you know, communism. So he's like, now that I am retired, can do what I want, pretty much. He's been, yeah, buying all sorts of older things. So it's pretty cool. Pretty nice. You can finally chill. I've probably done it for half the time your dad has. They ain't no AC thing. I mean, would you ever, I guess when you get a new car or a newer car, you probably finally get some AC, but you're definitely, uh, trooper <laughs> i couldn't do it i couldn't do it oh it's sid reigns from sid the first reigns. game yeah, it reminds me of a character from tekken a man's name but now it means nothing it means nothing his soul has dissolved into the swirl of chaos i take his form as a convenience but i'm no more than a puppet all right so who's pulling your strings and my car I have now once no, fixed, but it didn't last about a couple I months. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my now dad's car, because it used to be my mom's car, but then we got a new car for my mom. And then now my dad drives the old car. Um, yeah, I used to have AC problems as well. <laughs> um, so we had to get that fixed ASAP <laughs> for my mom. But yeah. I guess that means you. And that car is 2014, I think. Oh, 2017. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? What truth? Maybe that one was 2018. Yeah, that was 2017. So we bought a newer car a couple of years back. Yeah. Return to the chaos. Melts into the game. Of him survives intact. And then he is reborn anew and returns to the living world. An unseen power exists in all of us. It's the chaos that we carry in our hearts. Our souls are made out of the chaos, which is why they return to it when we die. But they survive there, waiting for a new body. Which means, you could be reborn in the new world. If the Sacred One shows us the way, she's the only one who can tell us what to do. Oh, she I was like, power who's the Sacred One? I think it's Vanille. Where we can live again. Uh, my wife's car had AC, which is good. Had to replace a blower motor resistor on it to let it blow the cold air. Wasn't too bad of a replacement. Nice. Yeah, car repairs. <laughs> definitely get very pricey yeah I think it gets to a point where if it gets too pricey you just, just abandon it <laughs> and trade it in and get a different car or something I think uh yeah that's my what my dad tried to do with his old Jeep get a Jeep Wrangler I think um, 
But it was just too much that he couldn't fix by himself. And of course that means he had to take it to some like mechanic or dealership and he didn't want to do that. So yeah, he just uh, traded it in. I'm trying to remember exactly the course of events. I think he traded in, we got my mom a new car, and he took my mom's old car. Yeah, that was a painful almost six months to a year. Because <laughs> he had to borrow my car. We go to work and stuff at the time. And yeah, luckily I still like worked at night flash from home. So I didn't have to really drive around during the day. The chaos unites humanity, a thread woven through all our lives, and it's a power God cannot see. Cannot see. Its potential is limitless, and that makes it more powerful than he is. But now you're going to tell me that it's nearly impossible to tap into. Am I right? Yet it is possible. No one can control the chaos. If you want to make the power yours, you must have the help of those who are inside it. You know what needs to be done. You know whose soul you have to find. You mean Sarah? Sarah? Are you saying I'll be able to reach her? And the mechanic that fixed my car's AC took a while to fix it and then told me he had to shove something in it. I still got it. Mm, we got to blow cold as soon as he says shove. I thought it's most likely break. Oh, yeah. I feel like that's also a reason I don't like trying to fix things on my own because I don't want to break it. I feel like a lot of people feel that way too about other things. Uh, especially with like IT stuff. Like they're afraid of breaking it so they don't want to do anything. It was the key to defeating God. If I wanted to use it, I needed Sarah's help. But Sarah, how can I make you hear me? Uh, this was years ago when I lived with my parents. I reach uh, out with every fiber of my being. But is it enough? Can I do more? Can I do more? If I throw myself into the abyss, if I cry out to you, will you hear me, Sarah? You hear me? Will you answer? Will you? <laughs> uh, try to replace spark plugs on my wife's car and I broke those? Oh no. <laughs> no. Hold the world aloft. Give me another day. See, I feel like I could even. Like, change my own oil? I'm just so lazy. So it's just easier to take it out. Do it somewhere. Have you ever been to one of those, like, was it? Ah, I forgot what it's called. Welcome back. Uh, it's pretty much like the fast oil place. What's it called? So I see it all the time. Like, Take 5, I think. Is that what it's called? Take 5? Oh, I want to... Try to take it to there, but I don't know how it works. Yeah, take my own too. Call take five. Nice. Uh, and I'm assuming you don't have to take it. You don't have to make an appointment. You just show up and they'll just do it. I do need to get my oil changed as well. Oh, let's uh, talk to some of this or read some of this. Sid Reigns, a man who was or who once defied the orders of the gods and hoped to set mankind free. He died an unnatural death while working towards this goal. Uh, General Reigns was a military man working for Cocoon's Guardian Corps. He wished to defeat the Lepalsi, powerful servants of the gods, and return to humanity control of its own fate. Or return humanity's control of its own fate. He lost that fight, and in the cruel irony, what god so loved, he was turned into a puppet for the Falci. He faced lightning as an enemy, when she should have been allies. Uh, he may have met a tragic end, but his wish to see the people free lived on in those who followed him after. Now, for Lightning, Reigns was both a bitter enemy and a comrade in the great fight against the gods. Here we go. Some more. Because I wasn't really paying attention when they were like talking about all this stuff. Um, Lightning has regained the memories that she lost. When she fell into the crystal sleep, it was as a vessel for Sarah's soul. But Sarah is no longer inside Lightning's heart. Did she lose Sarah as well as her emotions when she became savior? Lumina has hinted as much. She toys with Lightning, telling her that she has lost more than she knows in her deal with God. God has promised to bring Sarah back, but will it be a false Sarah, created by him just to play a part? 
Lightning finally reveals her intentions. If God will not fulfill his part of their, their bargain, then she will not stand idly by and watch him take another throne. After he has made his new world, Lightning will wrest it from his hands and give it to humanity, even if she has to use her last resort. Which we don't know what it is yet. The false Sarah. A vision of Sarah appeared to Lightning as a reward for playing the part of Savior. She looked like Sarah in every way, and yet Lightning knew there was no real soul in the thing that wore her sister's face. It was a hollow imitation, made by a god who cannot see into human hearts. The more she spoke with the puppet, the more fixed her suspicions became. If God cannot fulfill his promise to bring Sarah back to her, then the Savior will have lost her only reason to obey his whims. Yet Lightning cannot find Sarah's lost soul on her own. Even as her doubts grow, she cannot yet cut her ties with the god she has sworn to. Um, it works. It's expensive, but try insta-quick. Yeah, show up and just do it. Wait, how much is take five? Uh, I'm guessing insta-quick. Check tires, other fluids, and your engine air filter too. So they do more than just oil change. You can get the air filter replaced and then windshield wipers replaced at those places. Insta quick was cheaper for me for a while, but don't know if it has changed. Maybe I can look into it. Or maybe we just go both places just to compare. This first hand experience is the best. Uh, the false savior. It is right for a god who is it right for a god who cannot see into the hearts of people to decide their future? In order to truly save humanity, mustn't the savior turn her back on such a god and reclaim the world for the people themselves? But perhaps it is not possible to to defeat almighty Bunabilsa. The seeress Yule, who sees the truth of all things, speaks of the doubts and questions that fill Lightning's heart. And she tells Lightning that she cannot save anything as she is now. Not mankind's future, not even her sister's soul. As she is, Lightning is no more than an incomplete existence held in God's palm. If she can't find her true self again, she will never achieve true victory. And with this cruel truth imparted, Yule disappears. Will of the Dead. The dead all lived once, but now they are returned to the chaos. And out of the chaos became Sid Reigns to speak on their behalf. He revealed a startling truth. Vanille has the power to summon the souls of the dead and lead them on to the new world. The power to save the dead. It is a power that even the savior herself does not possess. But Vanille, in the hands of the Order, is determined instead to perform the soul song and erase all of the lost souls from existence. Who is? Oh, the order, because they're dumb. Uh, Reigns told Lightning that she must make the millions of dead her allies if she wishes to defeat God in battle. He instructed her to entrust them with her wishes through her bond with the one person she loves above all, all others. She needs Sarah to do this thing for her, but she still does not know where Sarah's soul has gone. Uh, depends how much oil my car needs. If you do fully synthetic. Oh yeah, synthetic's the good stuff, right? My wife card needs seven quarts of oil. They charge a certain price for four quarts, then add a certain price for extra quarts. Oh wow, interesting. Yeah, like, I don't drive that much, but it's definitely been like the mile, like threshold that I should change my oil. Yeah, uh, people say you should change every what three thousand miles, but I stretch it out to like way more than that. <laughs> So, it really yeah. feels like the end now. Soon it'll be over. It's been dying for 500 years. It's a long time. I wasn't talking about the world. Oh, what? Then what? <laughs> Never mind. What the hell are you talking about, Hope? Time is short. Every minute's precious Hope. now. What are you talking about, Hope? Not waste any. Yeah, three months or 3k miles. Yep, I did not <laughs> adhere to that principle. Let's really do it soon. Some oils used now is 5k miles. I'm assuming that's the synthetic oils or even higher tier oils than that. Okay. And yeah, we're not doing nothing. Because there's nothing left to do. Uh, Parmy wants to check these shops though, make sure there's nothing new. That one has nothing new. 
If you need a room, welcome to our I think it's partial synthetic oils, full synthetic. Hmm. So much stuff out there I don't know about. Probably something I need to look into. Just uh, for uh, knowledge on the matter. The 12th day is over. Maybe you check the oil normally. If it looks too dark, then it should be changed to voice sludge. Sludge. Keep the engine good. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, something I'd never do. <laughs> yeah, I'm just very bad at all that stuff. Eventually, I'll be more uh, more responsible with that kind of stuff. Got achievement for unlocking the extra day. Day 14. See, so yeah, apparently if you do enough quests, and especially if you complete all the main story quests, then you get an extra bonus day. This is it. This is the true light of Yggdrasil. So I don't check it either, but I don't think a lot of people do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are just like, used to feel breaks. <laughs> but of course, once it breaks, that's when we learn our lesson. Nice work. Lady. Nice work. Wonderful. All right. Ooh, we got equilibrium plus, 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 dark muse plus, mish wizard plus. <laughs> Anything else? No more plusing. No more plus. Oh yeah, there was supposed to be like a super weapon that we could have gotten, but. That means the end of the world. That's what you said, right? I used to have to yes, check my oil a lot with my first car. I don't quite understand it. Is that car like burned through oil? And it's glowing with <laughs> quickly. a light that I've never seen before. I'm not sure, but I think this might be the lost time. We're getting it back here at the end. What do you mean? I like from an O ring or something? I told you about the clocks. I told you how they only count to twelve instead of thirteen. There used to be twenty six hours in a day. But now there are only twenty four. Two hours less, and the clocks changed when the chaos was unleashed. You think that the lost time still existed somewhere? Yes, through a tear in the fabric of space time, perhaps. Space time. But now it's come back, thanks to you. I think it was the excess Aradia that you harvested. Somehow, you accumulated so much that the distortion in the space time was repaired, and we got back all those missing hours from the last 12 days. That's 24 we didn't have. <laughs> Which means we've been we... given a reprieve one more day before God awakens one more and the final time. begins. Just the one day. It's not a lot of time. Yes. I ran it once at the beginning with you to do. Uh, oil for a day I and heard knocking the engine. Yeah, that's demons. definitely not good. <laughs> that is, <laughs> should be making that sound. I met Lumina again. You mean the girl who walks the girl? in chaos? That would explain the chaos readings I picked up in the Ark. Okay. She brings the chaos with her. Light, there's something that bothers me about that girl. Perhaps you've noticed it as well. She crazy. You know how she looks just like Sarah at that age. So you think so too. They're so alike. I can't help thinking that it really is her in some way. She may look like Sarah, but it's not yep. her. That is not Sarah. Just too different. <laughs> too sassy. She really rubs me the wrong yeah. way. Too much Maybe of a bitch. She's not that bad, I guess a brat. Just that her behavior seems all the worse when she looks so much like your sister. Mm. In any case, <laughs> for now, Luna's real identity will remain a mystery. All we can say for sure is you and her don't get along. I saw her again, my sister. It looks like God might keep his promise and bring my sister back. She'll be a new Sarah. New, new. sister. What do you mean? <laughs> a by new that? Sarah. A new Are sister. Are you saying that when he resurrects Sarah? It will be a different person, like a fake. No, a what? That's not it at all. I just mean, if she's going to be born again, she'll be a new version of her old self. I don't think you're being straight with me, are you? You don't think the Sarah you met is the real thing, do you? You think that there's something missing. It's all right. You don't have to say anything. The truth is plain enough to see. Since I came here, I haven't been good at reading people. 
but I've been practicing on you. But don't worry. I've been I'm practicing on you. Yours and Sarah's. You know that, right? You only agreed to become the savior because it was <laughs> so your only chance we know to you save flaw. Sarah. And that means God has a hold on you. But if the Sarah he's showing you isn't real, then that control he has disappears. He has no hostage. He has no hostage. Hope, tell me something. You said that the souls of the dead return to the chaos, right? If that's true, then that's where Sarah must be. Her soul is lost out there in the chaos somewhere. For God, the chaos is an unseen realm. He cannot see inside. And so it follows that he doesn't have the power to find her as long as she is in the chaos. But he can chaos. do something else. He can make her anew. But then how can she be the real Sarah? The one I know? Well, don't you trust him? It's true that even <laughs> with all his power, God cannot extract nope. Sarah's soul from the chaos. But there is another place he might find it. He could take her soul from inside of you. How would... You're just making things up now. <laughs> just, just talking. You always found it hard <laughs> just making shit up. People. Hope. What chance does God have? Look, I'm not saying you will. But if you do decide to turn against him, you should know that I'll always stand with you. You trust me, don't you? Nope. <laughs> uh -oh. It just seems like the more I search, the further away I get from finding her. I've encountered more than a few ghosts from the past now, talked to souls from the chaos even, but I'm still no closer to finding Sarah. Are you gonna head out? Alright, sounds good. Hate. Thanks for stopping know. by. Perhaps you've done everything Hope you have a good night. I'll maybe catch you, you next time. Found her already, but something is yeah, maybe next time I'll be playing like Final Fantasy XVI. Is that what you're saying? Of course I don't think that's the case. But it's possible. Perhaps it's because you're too close to each other. You mean she's out there and can talk to other people? But not me. Not me. Tell you what, why don't you go out there and look for her in my place? I'd like to help, Light, but I can't leave the Ark. How about this? No, nope. have a good night. If I happen to die before you do, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, I'll make you a promise. I'll try to find her in the chaos, and when I do, I'll find some way for you two to be together again. Thanks, so. Hope. You're great. Uh, let me look at Equilibrium Plus. I don't think it's strong. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, ooh, Attack 4, though. It also has faster ATB recovery, which might be what I want. Yeah, maybe I'll just put it over this one. Hell yeah, I will. Um... We need a Mediguard. Um, yeah, it's actually another sword and shield. We can get that Lightning's original weapons. Uh, the Crimson Blitz. But it's repaired. Because as you can see at the tip, it's like broken. Mm, but yeah, I forget how to get that. I think it's in our next uh, story area. Anyways, uh, is my items full? They are. Alright, cool. Let's do it. The ultimate layer. The radio that Lightning gave forth from herself went beyond even what God had foreseen. Giving rise to a distortion in time and reinstating the lost 13th out or 13th hours. Uh, a day which never should have existed now does, and brought with it a place that does not belong in the dimension. In the extra day before the end, a mysterious new ruin has appeared in the Dead Dunes, the ultimate layer. Hope seems to think that Lightning might learn some uh, new truth by exploring these ruins. You can reach the ultimate layer by the new warp point that has appeared near the Temple Ruins East Gate. Uh, Wait, before I do that, I'm actually going to make a new save file. In the off chance I do want to, like, do everything, like, complete everything. I feel like I should do that before, but. Oh well. Oh, wait, I didn't want to go through the ultimate layer. Oh well. I think we can just leave. Yeah, so in this ultimate layer, we fight all the last ones of the game. Maybe we can do, like, a couple levels. 
they are the last ones of the game. Um, and again, maybe it might be beneficial to do so. Because every last one drops a um, rare item of some sort. Maybe accessory. Uh, the ultimate layer is an unknown ruin born from a lost dimension. In this place alone, time does not stop during battles. Uh, when you are... Uh, will you be able to reach the deepest levels within the time or limited amount of time you you have available to you? Making your way through the labyrinth, keep moving downward to reach the deepest levels. As you defeat the enemies on each level, you will gain access to warp devices that lead to lower floors. The enemies are all last ones. If you already drove a particular species into extinction, those specimens will not appear. With a higher battle score, you can j uh, jump uh, several floors deeper. You cannot use chronostasis. You can continue deeper or turn back. The choice is yours. Defeat the most terrible of beasts and dispatch the ultimates into oblivion. Maybe we can do a couple. While I'm here. Space and time were both severely damaged when the lost power came back. You're on dangerous ground. I should probably have gotten ready for this. Counter blow. Counter blow. That is this labyrinth. Crossword bangle. What is this? Protect against uh, ice. Yeah. It's thought to be a holy land. What? It's gonna go one by one. I guess I can just do it as many as I can. There's really no point to skipping, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll get an item that I really want. Maybe this is where God's hiding. I wouldn't be surprised if that were to be oh, true. Already killed this one. There's more energy than I can explain. Yeah, just go one by one, kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. I guess if I get stuck on one, I'll just skip. Oh, I was like, what the hell is that? Uh, I can't tell if that's the storm dragon or the fire dragon. Doesn't matter. It does matter, actually. Um. So I need the. I either need ice. Here. I think I can cheese it a little bit. Uh. I think it's chaos piece. Uh, it's not chaos piece. Dead dunes. I think I know where that one is. Uh, fail creature. It depends on the head shape. Okay, so it's the Zaltis. It has the two things on the side. So we need ice. Ice, ice, ice. Oops, too far. Yeah, it has a two, like, I don't know what you want to call that on the side of its head. Uh, Water God. Backboard. Beatdown's pretty good, but I think I want a higher level beatdown before I actually use it. Frost Strike level two. And Blizzaga. Oh, it's just Bizarra. Wait. Hey, I can't really do stagger with magic, so I might as well just do damage with magic. Alright, let's see. Oh, wow, wow. Did a lot of damage. The 
Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I hate when she jumps to attack. Go this way. Quick. Uh, let me heal again. I don't like that. Uh, I almost died. This guy's so buff. Crazy. Time to fight back. This guy's buff as heck. Has a million HP. I think I might have to skip this fight, actually. Yeah, I'm skipping this fight. <laughs> Your escape just now cost you an hour here in the world. Uh, one second, I'm being called through my door. I'm back. Mm. That last one was actually stronger than I thought it was. I actually don't remember all these giving me that much trouble. But, oh well. 
I'll just skip it. Wait. I mm, guess that's it then. <laughs> I thought I can like skip it or something. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, that one was stupidly strong. Uh, I don't want to go back into there. Um, I'll just teleport. What the? It's kind of open to fight like a lot of the little ones. But I guess it's not necessarily random. What I have to fight. But yeah, I'm just not really equipped to fight them, so not worry about it. Alright, let's go ahead and finally get to the end here. This is it. There's no more time left. It's the last day of the world. Right. Vanille will be getting ready to perform the soul song. She's going to liberate the dead and release them from their suffering and despair. Hey, Light. When Vanille saves the dead, what'll happen to me? Pro tip. Hope. What's going on? What about my soul? What's the boat? In FF16, there are wild bounty enemies that will literally one-shot me. A what? Just show up out of nowhere. <laughs> Jesus. Is that what just happened? It was C-Rank? Oh, wow. Did they have, like, death? Like, status on their move, I guess? I don't know. Scary. I have to figure that out once I get to it. Mm, yeah, hopefully, I can get that. You're almost done killing it? They're just like... <laughs> Like, not today, though. Just so I know. So I didn't. I had to figure it out myself. If anything, maybe I just... I can't. Uh, oh, we get to find out what Lumina... Or who Lumina is, actually. Yeah. Even if you tell me, I might also still get destroyed by it. <laughs> I've come to say goodbye. What? How did you... Ah. It's too late for me now. I had a job. That was God's eyes and ears, made to watch over everything you did. But now the last day is here, and God doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> it's like no one needs you to help. I'll just uh. disappear. No, it is kind of like uh. God just doesn't like leaving loose ends. Yeah. This was always his plan. I was gonna say um, kind of symbolic, Bonavilla. right? He's going to just cast you aside? We were given hope. It's his way. As, you know, this overseer. It's That's kinda like, you know. Thought it would be. But symbolic. he still needs you. And you can help the others. But yeah. Will you do that for me? So there's no more hope. And it's the last day. Go through with the soul song and throw her life away. But she won't be the only one who dies. That ceremony is gonna destroy all those souls, yet she has the power to lead them to the new world. Yes. She doesn't know what she is, or what she can do. You have to tell her. I know her. As long as she knows the truth, she'll do the right thing. And then, you'll have a choice to make too. It'll be your only chance to save Sarah. I've got to find her soul if I want to save her. And the truth is, I just can't feel her anymore. <sighs> It'll be alright. Trust me. She can see you, and she's been watching over you. When you make the right choice, you'll find her again. The right choice? <sighs> Tough call for someone who can't stop repeating past mistakes. It'll be easy. You just have to imagine what kind of world Sarah would want. What kind of person she wants you to be. Do that, and the answer will be clear. <sighs> But that's the problem, don't you see? 
Maybe once I knew her well enough to know what she would want. Something's happened to my soul. I can't see people's hearts anymore, not even my sister's. You don't have to give up. Overcoming your mistakes, that's the key. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, if you succeed in the end. So keep trying, okay? I'm off to a bad start. I didn't make the effort to understand you. I didn't trust you and instead hid everything from you. No, that was the right thing to do. That wasn't the real me. And he was never someone you should have trusted. He was just a pawn in God's game. I'm sorry. No hope, no. Don't be. At least I've had this chance to be myself again, here at the very end. After all that's happened, it's enough. Do you remember when we first met all those centuries ago? Do you remember what you told me then? Keep your eyes front. I'll watch the rear. I'll watch your rear. I'll what? But I didn't. I couldn't. <sighs> oh, but you did. <laughs> More times He's like, you saved time. my ass. As long as you were with me, Light, I didn't have to fear anything. I'm out of here. I'm not scared. Not even now. Because you're here. Oh. The Savior's here. Treasure chest, though. So, Hope, you've gone and left me behind. Oof. Or was it the other way around? Was it me who left you? It's not the survivor's guilt. All the friends. Oh, it's Mog. Hell yeah. Po, 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 po. Koopo. Let's grab these items first. There's only one item. Oh, psh, that's it? <laughs> Five silver millstones? Garbage. Koopo? What are you doing here? What are you I'm doing here? Koopo. I have a message for you, Koopo. Koopo. <laughs> no matter what happens, keep your eyes front. Uh, and in the meantime, you've got my back, right? You've got it, Koopo. <laughs> Koopo. 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 I don't have any space for any of this stuff. I'm good. What's Phoenix Wing did? Oh, haste. Yeah, I'm good. I guess I didn't really need the other save file. Go ahead and delete it. <laughs> I love how it the just pauses the and says Koopa. The, soul song. Koopa. the ritual will guide the souls of the living to the new world, but the burden will be too much for her. <laughs> Vanille will die. She will, Koopa. But that can't she happen, will. Koopa. She's being used by the order. She Koopa. doesn't need to perform the soul song. Koopa. She has the power to save the souls of the living and dead. Oh, does that mean she can save Sarah too, Koopa? I think so. <laughs> if Hope is telling the truth. If I can grant her wish and make it true, then she'll come back at last. At least that's what he said. But God himself wants Vanille to complete that ceremony. If Koopa. I stop her, I'll be defying his will. Then I don't know what will happen to Sarah. I know what Sarah would say, Kubo. She wouldn't hesitate. She'd say, do what's right. Help save all the souls. Yes, I know. 
She's always been It'd be funny if Mog's voice is actually Sarah's voice. No but like, you know, they change it to yeah. <laughs> alter her own voice. And that's found, why, like, that's why I'm worried about you too, Koopo. Don't worry, Mog. I'll be fine. I'm going to do what Koopo. Sarah would want me to do, what she'd tell me to do. I'll make her wish come true, and she'll come back. The world is coming. Are you ready for the final day? Now or never. All right, let's do it. Dawn of the final day. Lift your voices in prayer, children of the light. Come gather ye to the final place. Pray to the Savior, she heralds the end. Pray to God in all his great glory, for he built a paradise anew. Not the chaos, beasts. Ow. <laughs> All these Anubises. Anubis. Oh. Not like this. There we go. <laughs> it's like Terminator style. It's warping in. Reserved for a select few. It's definitely a scary. The people who died thought. in the past are going to be erased forever, like they never existed. The trouble is, though, the souls of the dead are bound to the memories of the living. Because we remember them, they can survive in the chaos. We're custodians, and our job is to keep the flame of memory burning. That's why the souls don't just melt into the chaos, because they're still remembered by us. They have an identity that keeps them alive. But if we forget them, they're gone forever with no hope of coming back. And it works the other way, too. If the soul of a dead person is destroyed, then our memories of that person disappear, too. Gone from our minds like they never were. Imagine forgetting everyone who once lived. It's more final than any mass murder. But that's exactly what the Order is going to do with the Soul Song. The Neil has the power to summon all the souls to her. When she does, the Order will use the clavis to destroy them. When it preaches purification, that's what the Order really means. Urge. But why would they wipe out the past? To get rid of all the sadness and uncertainty. All those regrets that hold us back and make us weak. They want us to start with a clean slate. So we can be strong in our bold new world. And you know what? That's what God wants too. Does Vanille know all this? Not all of it. The Order's kept her in the dark. As far as she knows, she's just releasing the dead from their suffering. She doesn't realize that when she does this, not only will the dead disappear, but so will our memories of them. Just keep do me this, in your thoughts. Remember me. And we'll see each other again. No matter what happens to me. Even if I vanish from this world. Oh. Promise me, Lightning. Promise you'll remember me. If this ritual happens as the Order wants, my memories of Sarah will disappear. And when that happens, I'll lose any hope I had of bringing her back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, yep. Forever. She did. 
Then there's only one thing to do. I have to get into the cathedral and stop that ritual. A what? What are you doing? Don't go. So get your filthy hands to. off me. I'm out of time. Don't take everyone with you. <laughs> Don't leave me all alone. Oh. Poor Lumina. Yeah, she still hasn't revealed who she really is, but she'll do it in a little bit, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of cool how, you know, the first, I guess, area, Luxarian, is where it all ends. Please. The beginning is the end. The soul song saves no one. The order can't save the dead. That's something only you can do. Do I really want to fight these guys? I don't, actually. Ow. My back. Ah, oh, my back. My other back. I am getting annihilated here. There was slash three death herald, another death herald. I have to get to the cathedral before. Uh, she's a high potion. Before the ceremony starts. What do you want? What do you want? What do you buy? X potion. Bully restores. I don't think I need bully restore. But why not? Might as well. Welcome. Any new outfits? Candy Raver. With three high voltage. Increased damage dealt to enemies when HP is 70 or above. Ooh. Source of made to be when you attack an enemy afflicted with status elements. Uh, restore some ATB upon defeating an enemy. Mm, it doesn't give any. Oh, I don't have enough for this. That looks really cool. Oh, what? Succubus! Succubus. Soul the Devil. That's what I get for not saving my monies. That's all good, though. I don't think I really need these. They're pretty good though, it's just I don't need them. I do like the candy raver though. Thank you. Thank you. I really don't want to fight those guys. I have to though if I want to talk to these other people. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna do heavy slash. Uh, let's not do heavy slash. We beat down. So I do want them to stagger. Light slash. I already have blitz on this uh, thing. Let me just do heavy slash. Oh, Jesus.
Oh, it's totally whipped. Dying. Oh shit. Um, oh, didn't die. I didn't die. Time to fight back. Why oh, is so beefy? It's just a fleeting dream. You're so eager to die. No buff. Wonder if I should make the middle equilibrium the powerhouse one, and this one can be the not powerhouse one. Let's try. Attack. Uh, that sucks. Oh, I can't, actually. I guess I could, I just... Like this. At least my ATB. That's fine, actually. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So this one has standby ATB recovery. Of unused schemata. Oh, the other ones recharge fast. Is that how that works? I have no idea. Kind of speed. is better than the other thing. Try this, I guess. Deeper text. Mr. Shoga, I don't have it.
people bravery. Forge. Oh, dang it. Oh no, if only I had money for all these. Jesus, that's a lot of money. See all this? You have so much, so much stats though. And I guess I would have to like sell everything I got. Wow. I wonder if some of these weapons are new. I don't know. That would have been great. 1700? Damn. Bad. I'm nowhere close to <laughs> getting that much though. So. How would I get all that money? That's crazy. That's a bit, I guess. Open up. You die. Around us, would you? It's the end of the world, and we're all dead anyway. Or didn't you notice? Then you notice. We've been waiting hundreds of years for this day to come. We will gladly give up our lives for God. For God Almighty. <laughs> so will they move? Oh, we have to actually fight these guys. <laughs> Ow, 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 ow. Jesus. They ain't messing around. 
It'll light me up. right here. Ah, oh, didn't let me heal. What? Sleep now. Sleep now. Easy, guys. I feel those guys are actually pretty buff, like annoyingly so. I'm starting to uh, not not <laughs> be sure if I can beat the final boss. At least not as easily. Cause if I can just buy those weapons, then it would've been really easy. But it probably takes like a couple playthroughs to get that much money. I don't know how else. Oh, I caught my arrow. I didn't get to set up my party or my schematas. Oh, was no. Nice. Here. You're the servant of God. Aren't you supposed to be on the order side? I'm not a servant of these fanatics. They want to go through with their damn ritual, and I'm here to stop them. If that means a fight, so be it. But the ritual is God's plan, right? You're going to defy him as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I am. <laughs> Maybe That's I am. That's a hell of an admission. Do you care? God brought you back to save souls and show them the way to the new world. It's a sacred mission. And there's only one thing in the world that would make you turn your back on it. It's lightning. <laughs> I know why you're going to betray God. <laughs> yeah. You think you can save Sarah? Wait, they're together. They're together. <laughs> Surprise. Say, so, nope, we gotta fight this thing by ourselves. I was kind of hoping Noel would actually help us, but. I don't think that's happening. Oh. What? We're not helping Null kill this thing? Kill both those things? This lo-fi <laughs> music. So we're not gonna help no, Noel. I promise I won't let your wishes die here. Well, this place looks like. Uh, I really don't want to fight these things. If we have to. Then. I died. 
<laughs> I died. Uh, let's change my loadout. I don't like the setup that I got going right here. Honestly, I don't have to fight anything. I don't want to. Uh, let me see. Let's not do this. Resist in peril. What else can I do? So I resist other things too. What's that? Uh, let's not do haste. Fair seconds. Maybe I should just keep it like I had before. I actually don't know which one's the best. I feel like it's the one on for now. I really don't want heavy slash. There. Oh, uh, it's still ruin. I don't know what element I need. Imps. I really don't want to fight anything, to be honest. <laughs> these things are chasing me forever. As much as these angels. Oh, it's snow, probably. Nope. <laughs> Let them chase me if they want. I don't know if there's any items worth getting. Oh, there's an item right there. Item right there. Samurai's comb. What's that do? I'll strike the magic plus 10%. Not worth. Yep, you gotta fight one of these. Oh, it's Bang! I thought it was Snow. I was kinda hoping it was both of them, actually. It would've been nice. Oh, yeah, Snow died, actually. Oh, he didn't die. What am I talking about?
Oh, resistance to fire. All these fish of magical attacks like, effect is greater when the enemy is launching an attack. None of that. Ow. That's a face. Wow, it's just whiffs. Yeah. Yeah, we get party. Or we get party. <laughs> we get bang for a little bit. The ceremony that Vanille wants to carry out. How much do you know about it? Just what I told you before. It's supposed to bring all the souls of the dead into one place, and then make them all disappear. The Order says it's the only way to end their suffering. <sighs> but it's going to kill her. Yeah, and there's something else. They haven't told her what she's really capable of. She has the power to guide those souls to the new world. If she guides them, they can be reborn. They can? Then what the hell is the Order doing? Those souls don't have to be destroyed. And Vanille doesn't have to be sacrificed to do it. Exactly. <sighs> the Soul Song was never about bringing peace to the dead. It was about making things easier for the survivors. If they succeed in destroying all those souls, then the living would forget they ever existed. It kind of negates all the, the order survivor guilt. Them away like a tumor. Then we'll be free from the dead weight of the people we used to love. Yeah. <sighs> that was their plan from the beginning. The bastards want to pretend their sins never happened, so they can breathe easier. And just for that, they're willing to kill Vanille in the name of a lie. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Those lights. Charging in. Are they the souls of the dead? They're gathering here because of Vanille. Come on, Fang. Vanille, open your eyes. You have to stop this. You hear me? Fang? hear the sacred one sing and gather about her in their millions for they seek eternal rest and repose the light of god shall rain down upon them the light shall be his voice his words become redemption the dead shall be released from their pain 
The souls have been trapped in the chaos. They've been suffering without any hope of being reborn. I have to do something. I can't leave them like this. That's right. You can't forsake them, which is why you have to stop this. Vanille, this ritual is going to destroy every one of these souls. They'll be forgotten, as if they never existed. She's telling the truth. No one will know they ever lived. The Order has been lying to you from the beginning. <gasps> but the Soul Song is supposed to help them. If they end up being forgotten, they won't be saved. Sacred One, God has spoken to us and told us his wishes. He demands pure souls with hearts of light. Those who could not survive the long centuries are not part of God's great plan. Our minds must be unclouded, our hearts free of regret. God is wise and mighty. We shall be born in the new world, our shackles cast off, blessed in the purity of his light. Do you hear that, Vanille? That's what they really want. Salvation for themselves, oblivion for the rest. Vanille, if you go through with this, your sacrifice won't mean a thing. I don't care what happens to me. It doesn't matter. I just doesn't want a matter. to make up for what I did. So many people died because of me. I can hear them even now. They're crying out all the time. Their grief and sorrow. I feel it all. Damn it, Vanille. You weren't responsible. I was. Vanille. I get it. You want to atone for something. You think this soul song is your chance. And if you purify the dead and die with them, you'll have made everything right again. But listen, not to me. Listen to the dead. Yes, their pain is real. But do they really want your sacrifice? He's just whacking me. Let's three in heavy slash. So, did you listen to the dead? Yes. They spoke of sadness and regret, but also hope. They're begging for their suffering to end. But. No matter how much pain they feel, none of them asked to be destroyed. Not a single one. Being amongst them is like drowning in tears. But there's hope there too. They want a new future. They want to live again. The sound of true despair is silence. When all hope is gone, that's when people stop raging against their fate. But the dead, they're still crying out against it. It's because they haven't given in. They still have hope. And I didn't listen. Instead, I was gonna perform the soul song and destroy them forever. Forever. <laughs> it would have been a hell of a mistake. 
but there's still time to make it up to them. There is a better way, Vanille. You can lead them to safety. Yep, I love how those two Show guards at the top are up, just like the Once they're there, chilling they'll there. be reborn into the new world. While we're like coming up to you smite them. <laughs> I can do that. Believe it. Someone told me you can, but it'll be dangerous. She means you've got to risk your life. You and me both. We'll do it together. <laughs> Just like old times. Yeah. I, I won't do the soul song. I'll try to guide them instead. All the souls will be reborn in the new world. You cannot! Hey, bitch, get off me. Bitch, get off me. Ah. Since <laughs> I can't do it if I'm dead. No. Forcing her to do it. Another fight. Finish the ritual. Uh, that light will destroy the souls. But uh. Stop her! Eat it! <laughs> Vanil. God shall punish you! God doesn't know how powerful we are. Bitch! Yes, no, baby. <laughs> it's no out of nowhere. Dang, vaporized. <laughs> nice entrance here. The gang's all here. Yeah, it only took five centuries. Five centuries. Poor uh, Saz. Where's Saz? Where's Saz? He's off being a daddy. It's beginning. I've made my peace. We'll still mm. be together. Death won't keep us apart. Oh. Souls of the Chaos, listen to me. It's happening now. The world is about to disappear forever. When you hear the bell toll, you have to fly up into the sky. Find the Ark. You can be born, every last one of you. My soul will burn. Let, Let the flames, flames of my atonement, atonement be your guide. The light will answer your prayers. Living and dead, all of humanity come together now. Look up to the sky and discover the new world. New world, woo! Do we get buzz from them too? Give me your souls. No, Vanille. Oh, Fang too. No. We already took uh, Snow Soul. Final curtain. And the bell stops. Time you were in the crystal. 
hostel. But then Benevelza cut her out. She was adrift and hopeless. Without you, her soul was going to melt into the chaos. So... you looked after her for me. You kept her safe. <laughs> We're just particles of dust, brushed from the palm of a god. He didn't care what happened to her. But I did. I had to keep her safe and sound. But who are you? Really? Here we go. Someone who never should have existed. I was nothing more than a vessel. And now I've done my part. My time is over. So they didn't die. They just took their power. The world will end with the last chime. They thought there was more to do. More to go. God is awake. Watch out! It's hope. He's crazy. My savior. Oh, my friends. Just to keep me in line. I'm I don't friends. care if you're God himself. I'm taking them back. I swear to you. Took Fang away. <laughs> Fang was only here for like two fights. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, I've sworn I was supposed to get something else. What about Noel? No. Mog. Mog, is that you? For you, Koopo. Who else, Koopo? The path to the Savior's trial lies ahead, Koopo. The divine statue will lead you where you want to go. To the place where God is waiting, Koopo. Bonavelsa is beyond those doors? He sure is, Koopo. He's working to create his very own new universe, Koopo. Once inside, I'll no longer be in the human world. I'll be in a realm known only to the gods, and I may not return. It's the final battle. Final bit. You need to be prepared, Koopa! <laughs> Aren't I always? Thanks for being here, Mog. It is my pleasure, Koopa! <laughs> Koopa! Koopa, Koopa. Alright. Final battle, the four trial doors. When Bunnevilles awoke, five doors were are unsealed within God's sanctum in the Great Cathedral. Uh, these are the door of to creation, which leads to your final battle, and the four uh, trial doors. You need not undertake these trials to face Bunnevilles. However, if you do choose to step through the doors and overcome that which lies within, lightning will become all the more powerful. Then for sure we're doing it. Best believe we all do it. Uh, open the door to the Altar of Atonement. Once the door is open, you must complete that trial before attempting others. I believe it's just a fight that I may or may not want to do. Uh, let's not fight any random battles. I'll just fight the main battle. Pretty sure there's like a boss in the back. Monkeys! Monkeys! Uh... They look like the weak against fire and ice, like, separately. Uh, let's go ahead and read these. The final day has arrived, and Hope showed Lightning the path she must take. He told her that Sarah is watching over her. If Lightning can lead the people to the world that should be, he is sure that Sarah will return to her. With those last words, Hope disappeared. Down on the surface, the soul song was beginning. Believing Hope's assurance that stopping the ceremony will bring Sarah back uh, to her, Lightning headed for this cathedral. 
Along the way, she encountered Lumina, who told her that the Soul Song is meant to wipe the dead from history, making it so that they never existed in the first place. Uh, with an even greater conviction uh, that she must stop this ceremony, Lightning set off uh, at a run. Lumina remained where she was left unnoticed by any as she began to fade into the chaos. The Saint's decision. Noel, Fang, Snow, Lightning's friends, and allies from the, the past all came together to stop this whole song. No one had called them or arranged for their meeting. Even without words, they all had naturally arrived at the same conclusion. The soul song was alive, meant to destroy the souls of the dead and keep the new world from, uh, for the chosen few. When Vanille realized this, she stopped the ceremony and instead worked together with Fang to summon the dead to her. The brilliant light of those millions of souls took flight, soaring off to the new world. Vanille chose the correct path, uh, with Fang by her side. She used up all of her power in the process, but she did not have to give up her life as the Order would have had her to. At her due. Judgment. Lightning turned her back on God and put a stop to the soul song. And Sarah's soul appeared before her, as if she had been waiting for Lightning to make the correct choice. It was Lumina who had protected Sarah all this time. Lumina was not Sarah, she was the part of Lightning's own heart that had been cut away. The part that Lightning thought she had lost. It had become the vessel that she knew as Lumina, and inside Sarah's soul had been kept safe until Lightning was ready to take it back. Yet their, re re their reunion was fleeting. The bells that marked the end of the world began tolling, and Benevilzo awoke. The Almighty God descended upon the world in Hope's body and snatched away the souls of Sarah and Lightning's friends. Now she must rescue them and free Hope's soul from the body she snares, or she shares, or he shares, with Benevilzo. The Savior stands alone against the God. Now we have fancy Crimson Blips music. Uh, let me just try to beat these guys. I don't like this. Get wrecked. Double charging. Not working the way I want it to work. Oh, one second, let's see. Did not blah, blah, blah. Um, I feel like I need to do fire and ice. So right now, this is about to get annihilated. Yeah. I really hate these monkeys. I need fire and ice. No, ice. I do have fire and ice. It's got to be smart about it. I gotta kill these monkeys, the small monkeys first. It sucks that they buff each other. So troublesome.
Uh, who am I attacking? Oh. Oh, I'm dumb. That wasn't bad. I'm not sure how I <laughs> survived all these guys. What the hell's right? I died. Um, I guess Venus down. Oh, I died again. Ugh. <laughs> So painful. What if that counted as beating the thing? So I'm gonna run out of uh, items real fast. Uh, actually, these guys aren't that bad to fight by themselves. Mm. 
Let's go ahead and heal all the way. Damn it. Keep forgetting what I have on. There we go. Oh, I can fight these guys. Oh, it's the ice. Heal. Looks so funny. Frozen like that. You're so easy to die. Let's make a show of it. Oh well. I should rather fight those guys. Uh, I believe every of these chambers has three main trials. Earth Eater. Uh, it's not too bad. I just gotta play my cards right. Um, Gale Strike. Gale Strike. Arrow. I should probably get Dispel too. Do Arrow. That beat down. Let's do. Actually, I do want to spell, but I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Maybe instead of D shell. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Let's put it here. I don't need beat down. Dispel.
Ow. Dang it. <laughs> Keep messing up. Uh, I put on the wrong accessory. I'm not doing that much damage either. I forget that this thing is super powerful now, since it's final day. I don't even know if I can beat this thing. I died. <laughs> I died. Uh, let's restart. Uh, I realize I don't have an arrow for some reason. I did something incorrect. I do. Wonder why I went away so fast. This is so much harder when I don't have, like, stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have killed them all. Or whatever. Let's try again. Oh, so much damage. Wow, why did I do so much damage?
don't think I'm gonna do enough damage to this guy to kill him. That's what sucks. Oh, I died. Uh, I think we just have to leave. Uh, let me try one more time though. I want to wait on the bravery and faith. Let's do this one.
What? I blocked. It's gonna be the slowest kill <laughs> ever. Ah, I died. It was so close. Uh, I can use ether. Oh, I can't use ether. No. That sucks. I almost got him. I died. <laughs> Dang it. Fine. I'll leave. That's so sad. I was so close to killing him, too. So close. So close. This is <laughs> not going the way I wanted to. And honestly, if I just grind up, grind up enough money, I would have been able to buy the super weapons, super duper weapons. But oh well. Yeah, talk to Mog real quick. You have to be no old thanks, no? I didn't know they were gonna come. I just chose to believe they would. I had a little faith. I'm gonna do this for them. The new world should belong to humanity, not God. I don't care how powerful he is. I will destroy him. <sighs> So I just didn't have enough Phoenix downs as well. I just need one more Phoenix down. That would have been good. I'll be right here. Oh, I don't need to do this thing. Let's try a different one. Wait, am I not able to close this door and just start a new one? Let me see something. I'm starting to hate myself. <laughs> kind of rush. 
Because I don't know how hard the final boss area is, actually. Because what if I need whatever buffs I get from beating these things? Do I really want to go through that again, though? Here. Let me just try to fight this final, final. Final, final boss. If you go any further, you won't be able to turn back, Koopo. I should go with you, Koopo. I can fight you, you know. Oh, no go. Of course you can. But Mog, I need you to do something much more important. I need you to stay here. I want you to be our lighthouse. Koopo? <laughs> Sarah will need some sort of beacon to help her find her way back here, right? That'll be you. And when you see her, don't forget that smile. Leave it to me! Ugh. Okay. If I can't beat it, then I'll just reload, I guess. I don't know. I'll see. Bunavelza, god of light. What is a human strength when measured against your power? It would be madness to fight you. But I am more than a human now, because I have been remade by gods. I will lead the dead and drag you down into the chaos. I see the. I don't think rethink my strategy. You're maybe I, maybe I should just make the middle schemata it's pure defense. Because that's what's killing me. I'm just not defending strong enough. Do defense. Can I go back? And auto saved. That's okay. I just won't save again. He had a dream. Of eternity. It was always his desire that this world would last forever. He battled against all the forces that would bring about its end. But his dream was shattered. The world faced its death, and he couldn't stop it. Goddess Etro was destroyed, and the nurturing flow of life no longer seeded the world. Entropy advanced. But that's when he saw it. The swirling, invisible forces that breathe life into the universe. That gave form to raw matter. The life force that exists in all of us. The goddess took the souls of the dead and made them be reborn. She breathed life into each new generation. Yes, but when she was destroyed, that cycle was broken. After that, the world was doomed. So, God decided to do it over. Right. Build a whole new world. It would be a simple matter for the mighty Bunavelza. Oh man, there might be a chance that I can't even he beat this. He power to shape matter <laughs> and create any material thing. But what's in our hearts and souls has no form. Great though his powers are, he cannot create souls. Nor can he mold them. So he needed someone to help. A fisher of souls. A savior who would cast her net into the ocean of life. And gather those who were worthy of being born in the new world. She was God's servant. But not just that. God has bigger plans for me, doesn't he? Being the savior was just the first step. If I could complete my task in the short time I had, then he would know that I could carry out the real mission and replace the lost goddess. <laughs> Etro is gone, and she will never return. The new world needs a new goddess. One who can restore the cycle of death and rebirth. You must become the ruler of chaos. The goddess who takes the souls of the dead and places them in the hearts of the newly born. <laughs> I'll become a goddess of death, all right. 
but not the one who helped. <laughs> What's up, STG? I'll be the goddess who kills you. How are you? <laughs> and yeah, I definitely <laughs> might not have done enough grinding, and so I can't <laughs> kill things. So this final boss might. Yeah, screw me over. <laughs> you good, how? Huh? Am I well? You wanted to finish quickly? Yeah, I did. Um, so I did most of the side quests and stuff, but there are certain items that could be purchased, but for like hundreds of thousands of gil, which I did not have. <laughs> uh, if I had bought those, I'm pretty sure things would be a lot better. Because it pretty much doubles my attack for some of these. Or in magic. Um... So I could just follow this guide, see how it works out. Let's see. <clears throat> Let me follow this guide then. Let's see what works out. I remember I had the cloud dress in my playthrough. The best cloud dress. The cloud dress? I did say equilibrium is good. The weapon doesn't matter because we're using ghosthood. Good. Let's use this physical damage. And then they want it. Oh, they didn't even know, they didn't even say anything about this. It's a DLC address that you got if you bought the game right away. Hmm. I wonder if they have it in this version. Let's see. The conservation. I don't know if it really matters. I don't know what else they want me to put on here. I don't have the ultimate shield, unfortunately. They want us to do D shell and D protect. At least that's what they did. D shell here. D protect. Okay, this one's pretty much for no damage, really. D protect. Uh, first one, main damage. So I pretty much want main damage on this one. So maybe I should keep it as a velvet, velvet dancer or whatever, velvet dancer. Actually, actually, I don't think it matters the type of guard because I can resist pretty much everything. Do I want the shield? What's oh, my shield? I'm actually afraid to put this abyss gate. There's a lot of block, but my HP is like nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna try it. <laughs> you can like barely see him. Um. So you have the strength of the Buster Sword and such. I would assume they would. After watching you, I may give this another game shot. Nice. Not playing anything right now. Um. Yeah, I really wish I had grinded a little bit. Just to buy some of the late game weapons and stuff. Because I saw them in the shop. I'm like, oh, if only I could have gotten these. Anyways, yeah, it's definitely very good stuff. Uh, what do I want here? I think I want ATB. Yeah, I don't even have the best weapons at all. Wait, fire saving. ATV is good. Mm, you're better off using extra time for a little bit of old grinding, but here you are. Yep. Yep. I think there is a choice where I can reset time. Um, it resets just the main quest line and the monsters, but I keep lightning levels, and I think all the side quests are saved as well. Okay, let's keep this. That is our strongest. And this is pretty much our damaging. Uh, build for this one. What else do you want? We have to do the item efficacy. 
so let's probably do it back. 7.9. My nine's better. And heavy slash. And this one, we want vengeance. Another physical grab. Do I have vengeance? I have vengeance. Chaos something. Oh, they want the chaos blade. Chaos revenge. Shield can't recall, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter with shield. Uh, I use apparently. Let's see this. Yeah, I was hoping to finish this early and then I could have started Final Fantasy 16, but. I think I just need to worry about finishing it, period. <laughs> then once I finish, I can go to bed, more or less. And we play 16 tomorrow. Mm, I didn't want. So it didn't matter, but I feel like I could do something. It's a little scary to use. What's that one? That. What should I do? Maybe EV kind of conservation? Maybe item duration. Thank you, Hurt. Let's change. Good stone. Butterfly. <laughs> Butterfly inside me. Um, beat down heavy slash light slash mediguard. Maybe light slash. You want another heavy slash. Uh, so again, this is what they kind of told me to do. I was thinking of this guy. Mm, let me save a different save file. And yeah, let's see if this works out. Um... Oh, apparently I should do something other than D-Shell. Since we don't even have any magic attacks. Um, the question is, what should I put instead of D-Shell? Not in peril, we're not using any of those. I don't think slow will work. Poison Curse. Maybe D-Spell? I'm really afraid of just dying. <laughs> from uh, taking damage because we only have 463 HP. Let's see. Uh, oops, let's reset. All right, let's try it. Hopefully, uh, this is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. No matter what happens here. Screw Hope, yes. Yeah, is this really why we hate Hope? Because he's actually Benavuza. <laughs> he's, he's been whining the whole franchise. I guess the whole trilogy. And now we have to fight him here because he's a bitch. Because <laughs> Benavuza is uh, controlling him. That problem with first impressions. You only get one. Yep, you said that. You said that. And his first impression is all the whining. Yep. The grandeur of a new and now he's trying to be all badass. Very eyes. <laughs> Millions of human souls yearning for life. Yeah, I want to try my best to beat reborn. this. Hopefully, I can. And yet, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do if I don't. <laughs> my glorious new world Maybe we just pretend that I beat it, and we can just watch the ending on YouTube. <laughs> just cry. <laughs> just cry. It is your doing. You yeah, it's funny. I actually beat it. Um, I get on my Xbox 360. I pretty much got everything, fates. like what God everything, created, everything. He can destroy. But I shall burn it in an works for me. I beat it for. Yep, I did. Then you'll do it all over. And then, the yeah, we can. World, the sky, we can watch the, people, the ending. But with no <laughs> memories or feelings <laughs> and no past. It don't work for me. Beat it. 
from just my perfect be world. world. Free, knowing only joy. Unfettered by grief and grudges. What you're describing is <laughs> human. There'll be puppets that look like people. Be there. You're a god, but you could never see into I do remember trying to beat this on hard. And it's ungodly like impossible. <laughs> Like, I watched the actual fight on YouTube, and yeah, you need a specific setup, and obviously, like, the best, um... <laughs> but here's your, uh, screw hope moment, and just beat him up. <laughs> Speaking of beat it. Beat up hope. But yeah, on hard mode, it's like impossible. Like I tried my best to follow it and beat it myself, but it just did not work out. <laughs> so I gave up. Kind of reminds me of Seven Remake Hard. You can have to turn your characters to Magic Caster to survive on hard mode. Yep, exactly. That's exactly what I did. Um, trying to remember what that name was of the move. It's the Blade Burst. Oh yeah, the Blade Burst was what carried me the whole game. <laughs> It's the only way, yep. I believe that. Because, you know, I, I sure. try to fight normally the first you know, hour or so of hard mode, but I'm like, really this is not optimal humanity. at all. Maybe but I yeah, I found out about uh, blade bursting and giving uh, but I'm sure elemental magic, like, not magic, but elemental damage the onto the weapon. Hand. So, all the blade bursting counted as you elemental damage, which was enough. super effective. Depending on the element you put, of course. Yeah, you can't do brute force physical. Nope. Nope. So yeah, I would just like attack a little bit, just build up ATB, and just do blade burst. Or if I already had the accessory that uh, you know grants ATB at the start, then yeah, just blade burst right at the start. Alright, hopefully we can do this. Uh D shall do protect right at right at start actually. If I kill the god of light, I become the goddess of death. Time's trial wheels. Ow. Ow. Jesus. Bruh. Oh yeah. The chaos oh, just what? I'd be brave. I need that. <laughs> I need... I pretty much should parry its damage. Be nice. The protector is broken. Ow. Ow. This is your grave. Do I not do enough damage? <laughs> Haste, cheater. I'm 
Oops. Be, uh, be brave. I'm not gonna be able to kill him in time. I don't do enough damage. to be protect him. Uh, we have to redo this fight. Uh, I'm gonna have to retry. I missed the overclock ability. Yeah. Alright, let's redo this. <laughs> Okay. Mm, I feel like the waste of a Phoenix down. Let's just retry it. Yeah, I would have had it. Let's try out this new build. Uh, before the last one. Oh, so we can actually go back to Mog if we wanted to. Uh, do I need to change anything? This question. I think that was fine. I think I was fine. At least for that first phase, I was fine. Let's just try it again. Wait to not listen to his dialogue. We don't got time for this. I also need to not normal attack I the God of light. I in the, the um, third. Time's What? <laughs> I went to block and then block. Uh, we do it? Uh, so sad. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> I feel like I have heavy slash on the last one. Maybe I should. Maybe I should do something else. Because my ATV is usually depleted on the last one. Maybe I should have overclocked I there too. The goddess of death. Time's triumph. Yeah, my damage is pretty low. Thank you. 
Yeah, he faked me. Oh, I did that again. I really need to preemptively block instead of like change then block. It seems like the block isn't immediate. It's dangerous. Between the battle with eight bars, we battle, blah, 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 maybe? The bad whole thing about Bobber. Yeah, maybe if I had full ATB, or an ATB, but EP might have been better. before I get to the next phase here. Yeah. Yep, first phase down. Apparently it's supposed to get harder every time, so this is gonna be... If that was that hard, yeah, I'm gonna be in for a pain. He's weak against magic this time, but I don't have magic. Let's see how much. Ah! <laughs> Doom timer's gone now. Uh. Okay, so that second one doesn't def uh, defend against the magic that well. I wonder if I should put the other one. We'll just fight this one out, and if I die, then I will try again. But I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out to a different. Those things blow up. I see, I see. I didn't even notice that. It's 
So I really do need to kill those things. Well, never mind, I do. I can uh, block these things with the shield and stuff. So the problem was, I was standing next to those, the white orb when it blew up. Oh, that killed me. <laughs> killed me. Ow. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna have to next potion. Get back here. Killed me. I just noticed that we are past halfway done with this phase. Why'd I switch to that? Mm-hmm. 
I have to stagger him before he unleashes. Before he unleashes. Uh, it's probably the seal actually. Ah, oh, I didn't die though. <laughs> Jesus. Why did I miss? Tornado. Oh, I almost died again. Keep switching at the wrong time. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna be able to survive this. I don't think. Did I survive last time with uh I Oh my gosh. He was almost dead but I couldn't kill him fast enough. Best thing I can do is just try to build a hole and tank the damage I guess. I don't want to be in the air when that happens. Block. Ow. Ow. Alright, I survived. I think I should be able to heal back up. Take it back. Maybe. Oh, I think we stabilized. Ooh, that's so close. If they got a shell on, I would have died. Oh, miss. Oh, dive. Oh, oh he died. Why'd you miss? Why'd you miss? Don't miss lightning. Another thing. Whatever happens, you will die. Dang it. 
<laughs> Ultima. I don't like that. I did. I died. Alright. <laughs> That's it, right? Nothing left. Uh, all right. Yeah, well, I think that's where our run dies, unfortunately. And all I have to do is just grind, which I don't want to do. Uh, so, well, we'll just leave it at that. I guess we can still watch the ending. Uh, so yeah.